all that, I gotta thank you guys. Thank you guys very much for being here. Much appreciated. Fire Medic also kicking things off at the 100. And Fitted Bitties, he says, so glad Thirsty Thursday is back. Let's go. Painful with the 10, but he says, unacceptable. Go find that hoop. It broke, painful. Okay, this isn't my fault. It literally broke. Okay. <laughs> the back piece, the, which, which is like the, the black strip here of foam, that's what that is. I came home from vacation, and this was on the ground, and I just forgot to fix it. So, unfortunately, you kind of sent me a bad product. It's very cool if you guys are new to Thirsty Thursday. We got the custom basketball hoop. Usually, I'm just knocking down three-pointers all day, uh, but today, that is not going to happen, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to get that fixed. Maybe I'll ship it back to Canada. Uh, because I don't have time to do that, honestly. It's ridiculous over here. ZC with the tier one resub. Come back for 20 months in a row. Thank you very much. 20 months total. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Uh, we got Max Sago Max Max with the Twitch Prime sub. First ever month. Thank you very much, Max. Much appreciated. Let's go. We got uh, Delicious Burgers with the Twitch Prime sub. Come back for two months in a row. Thank you very much for renewing that first month sub that means a lot thank you uh zay with the 10 biddies thank you very much sir mark with the fitty bitty committee the first fitty bitty committee in this thirsty thursday return thank you very much man k man with the twitch prime sub come back for eight months thank you very much man that is what's up no more gambling yeah we'll we'll, we'll get it back up we'll, we'll find trust tr trust me we'll find something else to gamble on okay we we don't we don't go without gambling over here okay some of us have an itch, if you will. Uh, we, we're definitely not skipping on the gambling tonight. Marks with the tier two resub come back for 25 months in a row. I don't think I've ever seen that number before. 25 months? That's crazy. He says, let's go about to be 26. Thank you very much, Mark. Pa uh, painful with the 10, but he says, I meant months. Oh, what'd he say? Oh, uh, painful with the tier two resub come back for 18 months. Says 18 weeks, soon to be 19. 18 weeks. P painful. You can't subscribe on Twitch for week. He must be new. Uh, Brandon, too, with the Twitch Prime sub come back for 10 months in a row. It says 10 months, baby. Guys, thank you very much for showing up for Thirsty Thursday, renewing those subs. Uh, I, I would assume that a lot of people's subs lapse. How long has it been? I think it has been a solid at least three weeks since uh, th the last Thirsty Thursday. It might have been four. And honestly, I almost skipped this week. We got a lot of stuff. My videographer is out for... Uh, COVID quarantining, he doesn't have, he probably has it, but he doesn't have, he doesn't have symptoms right now, but everyone in his house has it, so he probably has it. So he's quarantining, Z, the ZTD operation is just run, being run by me in, in the film department, uh, so we're, we're falling behind on everything, we, we got a nice little weak buffer, and that is already literally gone, um, and then we have uh, family flying into town tomorrow. We got we're celebrating Christian's first year birthday, uh, so we gotta like prep the house and, and all this. Uh, we're falling behind. I almost skipped Thirsty Thursday, but I, I figure there's no way that we can skip another week. If I'm gonna skip Thirsty Thursday, it's gonna be next week, which I probably will be doing. Let's be honest. But yeah, how's everybody doing today? Did how many in the last three weeks? Okay. Yeah, how many, yeah, let me get this number in my head. In the last three weeks from today, how many PC builds have you guys completed? In the last three weeks? Um, I'm at literally zero, right? No, no, I, I built one. I built one literally right before I left for vacation. I built one for Flippin' Friday. Yeah, I built one. How many have you guys built in the last three weeks? And ZC, oh my God, how many is that? Is that five? I can't read it on that screen. Uh, ZC gift down five tier one gifted subs getting our exclusives back. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, man. Benny Joy, Flex, Sean, Maverick, and C and check. Check me. Oh, check me. Got it. Uh, congrats on your tier one gifted sub, guys. If you guys are new here, whoops, wrong button. Um, we have a lot of benefits of being an exclusive, aka if you link link your Twitch sub or your Twitch account and your Discord account, you get exclusive access to all of this cool stuff. Most importantly, the exclusive Discord community, the exclusive section of the ZTD Discord server. It's definitely the place to be. A shout out to ZC for getting five more people in there. All right, I'm seeing a lot of zeros. What is everyone else slacking? Why is nobody else building? Painful zero, Mark zero, RWC zero. Wow, checkmate with the solid three. Wheeze with a super sus six.
I don't know about that, man. We, who, who, who the fuck? Who's Weez? Weezer is fat ass? Right, right. Like, so, like somebody, so. I need a beer. I, I, I need to take a sip. I, somebody thinks it's a good idea to put the name. You have one username. You can't change your Twitch username. What, what, what's my name going to be? Weezer is fat as hell. And this person is uh, busy enough, smart enough to build six PCs in the last... I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. No chance. Uh, but what I am buying is Shauner, a uh, case of beer, uh, once he hits 24 months. He's getting close because he just hit the tier one reset for 22 months now. He says, just getting to the airport. Where are you going? Are you coming to Pittsburgh? Nice. Uh, he says, just getting an airport, so only popping in. Have a good stream. Thank you very much, Shauner. Good luck on your flight. I have no idea where you're going. shauner has been kind of AWOL lately, and don't act like it's going unnoticed, okay? I've been noticing that Shauner's kind of, he's, he's got, he might be moving on to bigger and better. Who knows? But good luck on your flight. RWC with the Twitch Prime sub coming back for two months in a row for 28 total. Wow. That's a lot. Going to Florida. Nice. What are you doing in Florida? Hey, Zach, love your videos. I just turned 17 on the 11th. I am in the process of building my first gaming PC. I'm contemplating on getting a 6600 XT and pairing it with a 12100F. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. That's it. I would, yeah, it's fine. I would go with it. I was going to, I would go with it. If, if that, if that's what you, um, yeah. There's no point in making that any more difficult. It's a good combo. It's a good combo. That'll work for sure. I like it. What isn't in Florida the best state there is? Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything witty for you. But ladies and gentlemen, if you guys type in exclamation point build or exclamation point parts list, you can see exactly all of the parts that we are building with today. Let me actually pull that up myself because I don't even know these parts list. Uh, we do have one disclaimer today. So this is going to be an incredibly beautiful white and black 2000-ish dollar gaming PC. Thankfully, we have enough sponsors and uh, enough brand integrations on this one that I personally only have $600 invested in this build. So this is going to be quite a big profit. But as you guys know, I sell my builds for way lower than what they would actually cost to build. This one's probably going to be for sale on the exclamation point website on August 1st for probably $1,500 or so. If somebody can convince me to go even lower, we might as well. Uh, but it's rocking a 12 600K and RTX 3070 Ti Founders Edition. And again, this case, literally embargo dropped today. This is the Fantex Cube 2. It's got the infinity mirror design on it. I'm super excited uh, to, to, to power this thing on and check out what that looks like. You guys know where it, like, it looks like it, like, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it without using the word infinity, but it's got like the RGB uh, rectangles going on. And it just looks like it just goes for infinity. I don't know how else to explain it. But what I'm really excited about is despite being like full size ATX, it's also dual chamber, meaning the power supply goes behind the build other, other, instead of underneath it. And with these dual chamber designs, these are perfect for people like me because you can get away with hiding some seriously bad cable management in the back. I love using cases like this. Uh, Corsair has the, I'm super rusty, man. Uh, I can't remember what the 280 something. I forget. It, it, it was my personal build. Uh, the Corsair's got that dual chamber. A couple other brands have the dual chamber design cases. I really, really like using them. I've never used dual chamber anywhere remotely close to this big of a case so very interested to see how it looks we i also bought a vertical gpu mount so we're going to be doing some vertical gpu mounting we have a 360 millimeter aio ton of rgb fans this build is going to take forever how many people think that you're going to be here on the stream whenever this build is complete keep in mind i'm drinking some beer I'm not playing basketball tomorrow morning, which means we can actually like take our time and relax and have good conversations and I won't be rushed and I can drink more beer because I don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. for basketball. How many people think that they'll actually be here when it's complete? This is going to be a long stream. This is going to be a long one. This is going to be a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not looking forward to how long this is going to take. Painful uh, becoming our first gifted god of the night. Did you just gift out a tier 3 sub? Was that a mistake? 
You just gifted out a tier three sub, my. Oh my god. <laughs> Painful, what are you doing? Uh, to Meowtain. Meowtain. Wait, is that your wife? I think that's your wife. Is that your wife? I always forget her. her Twitch name. That might have been her wife. Either way, thank you very much for gifting out that tier 3 sub. That is absolutely absolutely obnoxious. Fire Medic with the 10 biddies says, had 16 builds to sell, down to 8. Wow, very nice, Fire Medic. That is putting in some serious work. Where are you selling them? Uh, are you using Jawa? Hmm? Are you using Jawa? Are they all local? Uh, I, want, I want the details of how you just sold 8 builds. Short number of the 10 biddies says, if it's long enough, I'll get through security and can make it back. Oh, this is going to be a long stream, man. This is going to be bad. Matthew Bruno says, I'll be here. Okay. Landon. Okay. I'll be watching. I'll be watching for you guys. Terry. I'll uh, definitely be keeping my eyes peeled for those names. Honestly, 12400. Yeah, 12400 is a great chip. There, 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 there's very few. We're, we're in a very weird but super easy CPU market right now. There's like five CPUs that people are building with like people that are experienced pc flippers there's not many 12 f 12 well let me let me start over we'll go from uh most expensive to least 12 k 12 f 12 f 10 f 10 100 slash 10 105 f you know one of those Fifty six hundred X? Like, are people are 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 people even using? Fi I'll put fifty six hundred X on the list. <laughs> that's literally it. Like, for anybody that's like seriously flipping PCs, what maybe a, maybe a twelve seven hundred K? If it's a really top top, that's actually not a bad idea. That, like, I, I've heard worse ideas. That's actually not a terrible idea. I literally just bought some whiskey tonight. Hmm. I'm not opposed. I, it's a little early. If you remind me later, thank you for the, thank you for the 2,000 videos. That's actually not a terrible idea. But I don't want to, like, I, oh, we got to get some progress in here. I got to focus up. We got to get this build at least started painful. Thank you for the 2,000 videos. I can't take a shot yet. Maybe later. Maybe in a little bit. The one commenter guy with the Twitch Prime sub come back for 10 months in a row says close to that one year. You are close to that one year. Thank you very much, man, for the support. Really appreciate that. Uh, but, yeah, what other CPUs are people using for real? I don't really think there's not – there's just not a ton of reasons to be using uh, Ryzen right now. Like, you, you can always make the argument for the last, like, four or five years you can use the cheaper motherboards. But, like, in the grand scheme of things, like, these these – these Intel motherboards are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And, like, the gap is almost crushed. You know, like, maybe on average, going from a similarly priced AMD to Intel motherboard, you're saving, like, what, 20, 30 bucks or so? That just doesn't mean that much anymore when that gap is so small. Uh, painful stop! I can't see who actually did that. I'm just, I can't see it. <laughs> I'll be back! Ugh. <sighs>
This is not a good idea. This is a terrible idea. ZC, painful. <sighs> let me let me take a sip of my beer before I take a shot. <sighs> okay. What do we have today, ladies and gentlemen? I promise as soon as this shot's over, we're going to get with this build. We're going to start this build. We're going to make it super quick, I promise. Yeah, this is why I just bought some Crown Vanilla. Ooh, I actually don't think I've ever had the vanilla. I feel like this is one of the staple uh, crown flavors. Bro finna turn up. Yeah, I mean, like, this is the first Thirsty Thursday in literal months. Maybe maybe, maybe it's been, like, half a year since I'm not playing basketball. <sighs> Knife, please. Assistant. Where's my assistant? Um... Where I'm not playing basketball at 4 a.m. after Thirsty Thursday. So we can afford to, like, take our time. You know, we can drink a little bit more than normal and uh, just chill with you guys. Crown is so good. I, I, like, if I'm buying whiskey, unless if I'm, like, trying something new, if I'm just, like, buying something that I know um, is going to taste decent, I'm only buying Canadian whiskey at this point. Um, just Canadian whiskey is, like, much... Much smoother. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a little sip before I even take this shot. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's so. Oh, that is so. Wow, that is dangerously good. Wow. Oh, that tastes delicious. That is crazy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had vanilla before. That that tastes really, really yummy. Does it smell? Yeah, it's, it's, that's very, very vanilla. I usually go for Jack Daniels like that. Jack Daniels, like, makes me look like a a high school kid at a party, like, like trying to take a shot, like, I need a chaser and everything. Like, that, that, Jack Daniels isn't for me. This, this, this tastes amazing. So, anyway, all right, guys, we're going to start this build. Shout out to ZC, shout out to Painful for the 200 bitty, 2,000 biddies each uh, to get me to take this shot. Also, shout out to the, you're not going to be able to see it, but shout out to the Afghanistan uh, shot glass. We had the, the shot glass collection opened up, and this was calling my name today uh operation enduring freedom we're taking a shot to enduring freedom ladies and gentlemen all right here we go that's really good that's dangerous wow we do not want to take any more of that though all right pa uh pantera with the switch five sub come back for 26 months in a row it says beer and whiskey just like pantera this is the beer that we are sipping on as well for those of you that are sipping this is a brand new IPA from Dogfish Head, actually. I'm a big fan of Dogfish Head, but they haven't released anything new for a while. This is the True Action IPA. It's only 6.5%, but it is delicious. It is continually dry hopped IPA. It's a hazy IPA. That's all you need to know. That's literally all I buy here. ZC with the Fitty Bitty says, damn it. Now I'm thirsty. Also, welcome to the Fitty Bitty Committee, ZC. That looks smooth. It, it was really, really good. Like, it, it legitimately tastes... I'm not, like, an alcoholic where, like, I think, like, bad vodka or, like, bad... Just any liquor tastes good. But, like, that legitimately actually tastes good. The vanilla is, mm, super smooth. Like, I, I can still... I don't even want to take a sip of my beer because I can still taste the vanilla. Um, and it's, it's just amazing. Love it. Zach, what's your lifting maxes? Uh, it's... I, I have no idea, dude. I haven't... I got to build this PC, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I can't, I can't ignore a good fitness question. So what I can, I did a, a powerlifting competition years ago in Afghanistan, ironically, like it wasn't like a certified powerlifting comp competition or anything. Um, but I lifted, I did a, uh, 475 deadlift, a 365 squat and a two. Uh, my bench is pretty weak. Uh, a 255, I think. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Not 255. 285. Uh, I did a 280. No, no, no. Uh, the competition, I did 275 bench. I have benched 285 before. Um, but competition, I think I've only gotten up to 275. Uh, but right now, I like that was that was four or five years ago. Or, oh my God, that was seven. That was six years ago. Holy shit. Um, I haven't, I, I probably haven't maxed since then. Once you get close to 30 years old, you stop going for one rep maxes. I would guess I can't squat or deadlift at all right now. Like I, I've been like healing my back up uh, from a pretty significant decade long injury. So there's no way that 
uh, I could do any significant weight with squats or deadlifts anymore. Um, but for bench, I, I, I'm close. I could probably do. I could probably do like two two sixty, two fifty, somewhere around there. I'm at like two twenty five for like five or six reps or so. I don't even go hard on two twenty five anymore. Um, but somewhere around there, somewhere around there. The alcohol is getting to him already. Actually, it's not at all. But I, I, I legitimately want more of the vanilla. But we're gonna have to take a little, take a little breather from that. All right, painful. The three hundred biddies. No, I'm not drawing anything. We, we gotta build this PC. I'm sorry, painful. I, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to extend the stream. I, I, I want to at least start building this PC. I'm sorry. Uh, but he does say draw Pantera the calf god with his beer and whiskey. We, we, we can't do that right now. We have to build this PC, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, so for our motherboard and CPU combo, we have none other. These are the only two of very few parts that I actually paid for. What all did I pay for? CPU, motherboard. I paid for the SSD. We'll talk about that later. Um, and just like the extensions and whatnot. Uh, so the, the core components, these are the only two I paid for. We're going to be using the... I thought that said 12700K. The 12600K and the ASRock Steel Legend Z690 motherboard. I've used Steel Legend so many times for all of my white or white and black builds. This is the first time I think I'm using the Z690 version with Intel 12th Gen. So that should be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I love this Steel Legend boards. I do too, man. They're, they're just tried and true. Like, every single time... Like, he, part of my process whenever I do builds like this. So, these Thirsty Thursday builds, like, these aren't, like, a hundred, like, this, th these don't have my 100% heart and soul into them. This is, okay, what, what do we want to build the, the, what do we, what do we want to base the build around? Th this build was obviously the case, the embargo dropped case today. So, we want to build, like, a white and black gaming PC. Let's just start throwing some parts into PC Part Picker. You open up PC Part Picker. Once you pick your CPU, you have access to all the motherboards that are compatible. I sort by the, 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 the cheapest price up at the top. And Steel Legend, for the last half decade, is continuously the first motherboard. Other than the Asus. Asus has a motherboard. Almost always. That's, that's actually white. Um, sometimes cheaper. But most of the time, the Steel Legend motherboard is always the cheapest white motherboard available so that's why we go with it oh my god check out all these wow look at these this is pretty crazy these are some of the accessories that come with the steel legend and one of them being a little steel legend keychain pretty interesting okay little square uh like vinyl th oh wow and the oh my god the back looks like look at that focus please the back is the Steel Legend motherboard. How cool is that? It's actually really cool. Okay, we're definitely keeping that. Uh, we also have a Steel Legend keycap for your keyboard. Is that going to focus? Look at that. A little Steel Legend keycap. That's actually pretty wild. Nice. Uh, is there anything? We got some ASRock Velcro straps, and everything else is standard. Although, I don't know what this is. What is this? We're going to have to open this up. I don't know what this is. That's pretty damn cool. And so is that. Yeah. I've never seen a motherboard come with a keycap before in my life. Or a keychain. That's pretty wild. I don't know what this is, though. Uh, maybe like an M.2 heat shield or something? No. I don't know what this is. Somebody smart help me out. What is this? I actually don't know. I... There's some type of, like, that's not a thermal pad. It feels it, it feels like a, kind of like a thermal pad, but I don't think it is. What is this? GPU bracket? I don't, I don't know how. With these two screws right here? Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, it's probably a, like, it's probably like this. GPU sag bracket. It's so interesting design. It probably goes like this, or like this with that pad. Somehow like this, and then the GPU sits like that? I don't know, man. That's a pretty... Yeah, I don't know where, where it would connect to, but... Okay, wow. Wow, we are, we are thrown for a loop here with the motherboard situation. We got all these little accessories. 
We got an unidentified object here. Who knows? Oh, wow. I did forget about this, though. This is the one problem with uh, all ASRock high-end motherboards. Super annoying. They always zip tie their motherboards to the to the foam here. Just so unnecessary. Okay. Got, like, ASRock. I get it. Like, it's a decent motherboard. But you don't need to, like, go, like, super protective about it. Okay? Like, it'll be fine. It goes on the... It goes on the right bolt with the Mobo screws. I don't know what I don't know what that means. No, this is not a flipping Friday build. If it was a flipping Friday build, you wouldn't see it until the episode. This is just a a build to showcase the Fantex uh, Cube Two IM case, and uh, just a build that will go on our on the ZTT website. Okay, so just a flip build if you will. Uh, our next website drop is April, or I'm sorry, wow, August 1st, and it is going to be a massive drop, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be another, like, 12 to 15-ish builds or so. We got some budget ones. This is easily the highest end build that we have, and per usual, we'll be selling our builds for way cheaper than any place on the internet. I don't sell my builds for profit, Although sometimes like this, when 70% of the parts were sent to me for free, then I'm going to make a profit on this one. Um, but most of the builds I don't sell for profit just because I don't need to. Um, and yeah, if you have been saving for a gaming PC, August 1st is definitely, definitely going to be the time to do that. And I just threw the motherboard box when I need it. <sighs> All right. I found ASRock boards very plain, but they are good. I mean, I don't know if I'd call this plain, man. This is pretty, pretty clean. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's pretty clean, man. Mark says, I sent a pic of the the bracket in general chat. I should have checked our drinks. I forgot. Let's see what you're talking about here. Oh, I see some drink photos. There we go. Uh, oh, I got it. Got it, got it, got it. This is the, the sag bracket here. It goes on the right side. It sticks out the motherboard like that. And then this little piece right where my, where, right where my finger is, wow, that whiskey's starting to hit. Um, that can go up and down depending on the height of your graphics card right there. Okay, I don't really like the design of that. I don't think that looks cool. Like, especially if you were using an all white case with, with a white internal bay like we are, I think that this huge black bar is going to stand out like a sore thumb. I, I don't actually like the aesthetic design of that. Um, I, yeah, I, whatever. I, like, If I'm going to use a GPU sag bracket, I want it to add to the aesthetics, not subtract to it. So I would much rather use like the the white up here standard bracket um, or, or like maybe even an RGB one. Just I don't, I don't really like the look of that. It looks like a handle on the motherboard. Not a huge fan. What do you guys think? Time to take another? No, 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 no more shots, guys. Weird design, but I like the idea. I, I, I yeah, I kind of feel bad. Like it, it does actually seem like a unique, solid design. I just don't like the aesthetics of it. It seems pretty functional, and it seems pretty sturdy, attaching to the motherboard, which is attached to the case. Um, but I don't really like the, like the design of it. If it was in an all black build, I think it would be much better but uh shout out to whoever we bought this motherboard from i don't know why they decided to write 2432 on my box but whatever okay try not to hold any grudges today <sighs> gonna have to spray paint it white and hope it matches oh we gotta talk about this real quick speaking of spray painting white i need to know from you serious modders out there hopefully we actually have some decent pc modders in the chat here i am about to for the next flip i'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek this, these are the benefits of showing up for uh, thirsty thursday i am going to be building a custom backplate budget style diy style for a what's the card it's so obnoxious it's a it's a it's a 1650 it might be a 1650 Super. I forget. It's a card that doesn't really deserve a custom backplate. But here's my plan. I watched a couple of videos on it. Apparently, like this isn't like that unique of an idea. 
but I bought some white plexiglass or like a white acrylic sheet, three millimeters in height. And I'm just going to custom cut it. I'm going to trace out the back plate design, custom cut it, and then just double side stick tape on top of the screws. Just like little, like you don't need a lot of security, but like that back plate's not going anywhere. Just, just on the, on, on the screws there, like how V1 tech does it. Um, and it's just going to be like a all flat white GPU backplate. Like, does that logic check out? Has anybody done that before? A custom GPU backplate? Like, acrylic is definitely the material to use. Like, I think that's what V1 Tech uses. But they obviously do, like, the cool designs and whatnot. I'm, like, super looking forward to it. Because this is going to be a budget, a, a super budget build. Again, it's either a 1650 or 1650 Super. But it's going to have a custom white backplate that only cost me, like, $10. I'm really looking forward to it. Has anybody else uh, in the chat done anything like that before? That, that sounds kind of cool. It's going to be really dope because the, the system's all white and black, obviously. And then just to have, like, that ultra-budget build. The thumbnail for the YouTube video is going to look so good because it's going to be, like, kind of top-down so you can see the GPU uh, backplate on there. I think it's going to look I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Motherboard should have cost 2432 Uh, Not quite. Not quite. I recently was debating about this board and the Strix Z Z690-E gaming for my first build. Went with the E game, um, but now it looks like I should have gone with the steel because I grabbed a white case. Yeah, I, I don't know what that Strix board looks like off the top of my head. I think that's probably just an all black one with some RGB. Uh, but these, if you're going with a white build, first of all, unless if you want to spend like $300 on the motherboard, there's only ever this, and I think it's the Asus Prime. I, I, I know for a fact that Asus Prime, the Asus Prime lineup has indeed had some white motherboards, but I don't think it's, I think there's some black primes as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, um, but there's only ever one or two options. But Steel Legend has just been good old trusty for at least half a decade now for your white builds. Now, the one problem that I'll always debate with these Steel Legends is sometimes, it's not all of them, but sometimes they will include a lot of silver on the aesthetic. And this one is a little bit too much in my opinion. There's legitimately more silver than white on this motherboard. I always, like the PCB never really changes. It's always like this white and black and a little bit of gray. Uh, like digital camo to it. The PCB always looks really good, but for like these M.2 heat shields, the IO, um, the IO cover and whatnot, the v the um, chipset cover and whatnot, like this is either sometimes white or silver. And on this Z690 motherboard, it is super, super silver. And these VRM heat sinks up there are all silver. There's not any white on them at all. So I prefer when the Steel Legend motherboards are a little bit more white than this. But again, this is like as budget as it gets for a white high-end looking build. Uh, so that's why I always go with it. Painful Tempity says, it works, turns out pretty nice. Just make sure the thickness doesn't get in the way of any other parts on the motherboard. I had a clearance issue with an SSD cover once. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I've had an issue with a V1 Tech backplate before. The three millimeters is super thin. I think that's what V1 Tech uses. But um, the, the reason why I had an issue is because most motherboards, they have the X1 slot right here above the X16 slot giving you a little bit of a space uh, that way like uh, well this that's not the reason that they they put this here but it does give you space for a a GPU backplate like that the motherboard I was using this wasn't here so this was up at the very top and then like yeah it was getting in I think it was actually getting the weight of the IO shield um, but like yeah a cooler or uh, an M.2 um, I meant a CPU cooler or an M.2 shield up here. That could definitely get in the way of it as well. So, yeah. I, I don't know what motherboard we're using. I, I can't remember. But we'll definitely keep that in mind. But I'm, I'm really excited, man. I haven't done... I haven't done, like, a custom DIY modding type of thing for a few months now. And I actually just planned today a custom modded Dell Optiplex build, which I'm super excited about. It's been a while that we since we've done that as well. Um, so we're getting a little bit back into the budget modding scene, if you will, which I'm really excited about. Uh, 
I am with the Twitch Prime sub coming out for three months in a row for three total. Now rocking the silver ZTT badge. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. The attached IO shield is a plus as opposed to the Prime, too. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't, like, ever bother me. Like, as long as it aesthetically looks good, then that's fine. But, like, like not having to install an IO shield, like, that's not, like, that's not a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. That's an extra 10 seconds on your build process. But... If the aesthetics look better, that's what really matters. Painful the Tempity says, got to hydrate. Dude, I need to hydrate big time. Anyone ever tell you that you look like Nike Bosa? Who the hell is Nike Bosa? Are you trying to say Nick Bosa? Like the football player? I don't think so. Oh, nice water bottle. Thank you, man. So Corsair kindly sent this out for – this was one of their Christmas gifts. All these manufacturers, they always send us, like, Christmas gift care packages. All, all, all the cool ones do. Uh, one year, Corsair sent out these Yeti um, thermoses, which is actually really nice. But, you know, we had to customize it a little bit. We put the Thirsty Thursday logo on here. We should – not should. We could have covered the Corsair logo – with it but we didn't we decided to make it a little bit of a collab instead of an overtaking so this is officially the corsair slash thirsty thursday uh water bottle here it's a one of one there's not a single one uh, other than this one on the planet zach would you consider boxing nerd on a budget yeah absolutely um i we we, we talked we, we brought this up we brought this up like a year ago or so um yeah, several of us in the tech fam would, would definitely I, – I wouldn't box Danny from Nerd on a Budget. Ha, has anybody seen the picture of me next to Danny? <laughs> Somebody link that in the chat. I am over a foot taller than Danny. It, it <laughs> That wouldn't be a good fight. That I would have absolutely nothing to gain and all to lose. If, if, if he were to, like, sneak a shot, like an, a, an uppercut where he's, like, literally aiming like this, if he got one of those in, I would be the laughing stock in the YouTube world. I, I can't box da uh, Danny when he's that much shorter than me. But w we have talked about it before. I, I would definitely, I would, I would, I would, you heard it here first. And remember, I'm a half a beer or a quarter of a beer in and a shot in, but I would 100% be, be down for boxing another YouTuber. It, it, it's such a good idea. But are we going to build this mother effing PC? Um, boxing is the, easiest sport on the planet right let me let me think that through hold on oh wait. don't take that out of context either I, I didn't finish my sentence boxing is the easiest sport on the planet for a non fan of the sport to watch like to comprehend it it's the easiest easiest sport uh, to watch fighting in general, I would say, but boxing especially, because uh, fighting like when they get on the ground, jujitsu and like grappling and whatnot. It, if you don't know fighting, it's a little difficult to understand what's actually going on. But boxing is pure. You know, you know whether you're a sports fan, a boxing fan. If you're just a human and you're watching two people box each other, you absolutely know who's winning and who's losing. So it is such a good entertainment sport um for everybody on the planet to watch so like a couple years ago when like these youtubers started boxing each other and whatnot like it was just it's it's a brilliant idea like i i think that's pretty uh, a pretty unanimous opinion it's not a hot take uh it's just such a good idea but yeah i would app <laughs> sends clip without context to tyson <laughs> i i would i would legitimately absolutely 100 percent be down to uh to box another YouTuber. Like, it would have to be worth it. Like, we would have to... It'd have to be the right YouTuber. Uh, which would be... It would be difficult to find somebody for me. I am six foot three, two 215 pounds right now. Um, but... And, like, to find somebody, like, in my tech space, if we have enough popularity to do and whatnot, yeah, I would 100% be down. I, I, would, I would love training. I, I would love, like, f having the focus of, like, a boxing training camp for like six months or so, just like training for one goal to go out there on fight night and everything you do, everything you eat, every hour you sleep, every training day, 
all like towards one goal of a boxing match like that would be really fun for me for sure i would love that what case are you using if you type in exclamation point build you can see the full parts list um but it is the fantex cube 2 literally just launched today all right ladies and gentlemen how how long is this live stream oh my god oh, actually 50 minutes that's not terrible that is not terrible ladies and gentlemen um but it is time to install our cpu finally it's been a while since i've done 12th gen yeah bottom left okay here we go this is the 12 600k we were using like i was saying in the beginning of the live stream there's just not too many cpus to use right now which is which isn't a bad thing there's just a lot of really really good options that trump everything else the 12 600k the 12 400f the 12 100f maybe a 10 400 10 400f 10 105 10 100 f uh, and maybe a 5600x if you wanted to go down the amd route but like those are like the meta cpus right now but that's uh we're using one of those today for the ram here this is actually recycled from a build that we aren't selling on the website which is kind of weird but it went into a personal build and i didn't want to use these these are the trident z royals this is my first ever focus please this is my first ever royal kit of ram before i know these used to be super popular they got the golds they got the silvers like this one and whatnot this is a 2 by 16 gigabyte kit clocked at 3200 3600 and i just didn't want this in my personal build nzxt actually sent these out for a uh, sponsored video that i did for them uh like a month ago or so so this build is perfect for it because we already have some silver on our motherboard we got some silver on some other components and whatnot so those match up perfectly i just bought a gaming chair today nice which ones you get this is the dx racer air by the way i'm supposed to be making some content for them but i keep forgetting it's a great chair uh it's 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 a met one of those mesh chairs it's really nice super adjustable it's it, it's like it kind of bridges the gap between office chair and gaming chair Definitely recommend it. Did you get any parts on Prime Day yesterday? Yeah, for sure. I uh, bought a lot of SSDs. The MP33s were on sale. The 500 gigabyte versions for $33, right? 33? No, 38. $38. So I bought five of them. 500 gigabyte NVMe SSDs for 38 bucks. Like that's perfect for budget to mid-range flips um i bought a, a a a patriot ssd i think i bought five of those as well a different 500 gigabyte nvme drive never heard of that model before but i bought five of them because those were 33 dollars is a little sus though with two day shipping or tw uh two week shipping um i can't remember what the model number was but i bought those i think that might be it oh i bought the I bought the McCube 310 case, which went on sale like the day before Prime Day, I think, on Newegg. I think that was part of their sale. I don't think I bought anything else. What What did you guys pick up? Did anybody pick up something really good for Prime Day? Prime Day was disappointing for PC parts. No, 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 no. Pause. Can, can we get somebody to pause the music? No, no, no. Here, here's the thing. Who said that? Tubby? Tubby19. Tell me right now. How many years you've been searching for PC parts on Prime Day? I would, I, if I could just get your genuine, honest answer. How many years have you been searching for PC parts on Prime Day? Uh, and then I'll, I'll respond to that after. I would bet that this was your first, this was your first year. Uh, D Baseball says sixty six hundred for two hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, that's oh my god! I love to hear that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Kale says there were some deals. Sadly, I do not because my Jawa paycheck is today instead of yesterday. Your Jawa paycheck? Ah, nice, nice. I only saw the $250 one. So here's the thing. <laughs> this was objectively. Is the music too loud? I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. It feels too loud to me, but maybe it's not. Oh, Tubby. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, I'll, I'll make this less aggressive 
Uh, Tubby says he's in Canada, so it's probably different. Okay, that's fine. I have no idea how the Prime Day is in Canada. I'm just, yeah, I have no idea. Um, so here's the thing. For the United States, that's all I can speak to. This was the best Prime Day for PC parts <laughs> since I've been making YouTube videos. Every single year, Prime Day is the biggest disappointment of all. It's awful. I, I, I legitimately wasn't even excited this year. I didn't plan ahead of time for Doc to, like, do the whole deal list thing and whatnot. Prime Day always sucks. Uh, the, the new egg sale, the Best Buy sales, those are always so much better than Prime Day. Because uh, Prime Day is usually just a bunch of sales on stuff that you don't need. It's a lot of the Amazon products, the Fire Sticks, the, the Echoes, and all that stuff. And... For PC parts, it's usually just a bunch of fake sales where they artificially increase the price, they double the price, and then they put it on a sale down to the price that it was at just yesterday. It's always been really stupid. This year, yesterday and the day before, was the best Prime Day by far. There were some really, really, really good deals. So I, I definitely want to like super defend Prime Day this year. Uh, but again, Tubby said that he's in Canada, so I have no idea. It could have legitimately been bad in canada but yeah prime day was very legit mostly graphics cards uh it's just it's a combination of like the gpu shortage which is over obviously here in the united states um and then uh, the the next generation of graphics cards are coming out so these manufacturers and these uh third-party sellers they want to start clearing their shelves so they're lowering the prices nvidia just announced that they're actually lowering their msrp of 3000 series graphics cards and all that like this is a really just like it all kind of like combined into an amazing prime day the 230 dollar um rx 6600s 6650 xts were going on sale for 6600 prices uh which were just they were, they were crazy this is a really good prime day i i wish i needed graphics cards at this time are gpu bottlenecks a thing yeah absolutely most of the, like you you want a gpu bottleneck like when you're when you're designing your system you want the gpu to be the limiting factor you don't want your cpu to hold back or bottleneck your graphics card you want you want your graphics card to be like the the workhorse uh for for most games obviously there's a couple games out there that are more cpu dependent blah 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 uh that throws everything off but yeah most of the time you want a gpu bottleneck a gpu bottleneck is is fine you know as long as it's not like obnoxious Okay, we, we, we gotta we gotta keep installing this guys. So we do have one disclaimer for the entire build. Again, if you type in exclamation point build or exclamation point parts list, you'll see the disclaimer here um, at the bottom on the notes section. But the SSD we're using is the previously mentioned MP33. This is like almost as budget as, a, as an NVMe Gen 3 drive gets. With a system like this with the 12600K and an RTX 3070 Ti, I would expect a Gen 4 drive in there. If not a Gen 4 drive, I would expect a higher end Gen 3 drive. The only reason I'm using this today is because I had a Gen 4 drive lined up for this build, and we literally lost it uh, in the ZTT HQ. Like, we just filmed with it. I think I actually threw it away in the trash. I'm not sure. Um, just, that's that's my only, only guess at this point, because I have no idea where it is. But I had a Gen 4 drive lined up for this build, and since I don't sit on a lot of Gen 4 drives, because most of my builds are budget to mid-range, I didn't have any other one terabyte higher end drive. So this is the MP33 one terabyte SSD. It's, it's a, it, it doesn't make sense. Like I would definitely recommend a higher end build or a higher end SSD for a higher end build like this, but it is what it is. It's all we got for today's Thirsty Thursday and we're gonna use it. So that's the disclaimer. It's still a gen three NVMe drive. It's still, it's still gonna be, still gonna be super fast. Windows is gonna be just as snappy, um, but you really should go with a Gen 4 drive for a, for a build like this. Price of PC, it's around 2K. I only have 600 invested. A lot of these parts were brand integrations or sponsored. Um, I only put, I only bought the CPU, the motherboard, and a couple of the aesthetic stuff. How do you feel about the recent GPU prices? 3080 Ti 1099. Do you recommend we do it or wait for the 30, 40 series? We're in that weird time. We're, we're officially very much 100% at 
in that time where it all, it all depends on your situation. Like, waiting is not a terrible idea right now. If you have a gaming PC that can game in 1080p with good FPS, whether that's whether it's on your 60 hertz monitor or your 144 hertz monitor, if you can do that, then I would wait. Like, if you're not being, if you can play any game on the market right now at least at 60 FPS, then I I, I would wait. You know, um, but it, if you're in a situation where you legitimately can't play with your friends, you can't play this game that you've been trying to trying to play. Uh, then I'll 100% buy now because the prices are ridiculous. But it, it, it all depends. But that that would definitely be my like 100%. End all be all. If you can play, wait. If you can't play, buy now. You you won't regret a 3,000 series right now. Like the prices aren't going to go much lower. Which CPU would be good for a GTX 1060 six gigabyte? Uh, it depends on if you want to buy new or used. Like if you want to buy new, then I would go with. Uh, Intel, Intel i3, 10th gen, a 10100, 10105F, like that's an easy choice. But if you want to get a little creative, if you want to get a little bit better price to performance, you can definitely go down the Ryzen used route, Ryzen second gen, Ryzen third gen, you know, anywhere from like a, a 2600, that would be a really good pairing. You pair that with like a super cheap B450 motherboard, that would be really good. Um, or if you can get a good deal on even a 1600 AF, I just saw another one posted for like 75 bucks. You pair that with like a 35 to a $45 B450 motherboard, that's like 110, $120 total combo. That would be really good as well. So somewhere around there, just depends on if you want to buy new or used. Clutch Master with a $10 super chat says i respect the hustle and love the content i went ham on amazon prime day new egg uh the new egg sale spent over 4k on my first build when i film my pc build is it okay to throw a clip of it to you well i'll definitely watch it um for sure me i definitely want to see a 4k build make sure you also submit it to the community builds in our exclamation point discord server that way the whole community can see it uh but yeah if you send me a dm i'll definitely look at it four thousand dollar build let's go nice uh congrats on your build by the way good luck with it uh ufd tech with the twitch prime sub coming back for 23 months it literally doesn't even say how many months in a row which means he had a little bit of a time lapse but it's okay ufd tech we got a celeb in the house as you guys know he's coming up on the big half a mil subscriber count over on the youtube channel he's got the hot news which by the way he didn't upload a hot news today which if there's any day of the week to not upload a hot news it is 100 not thursday brett before i go live to all these people little over half a million right now i need i i need to know what the news of the day was okay thursdays cannot be your day where you take off for hot news por favor uh, Tooth with the Twitch Prime sub, reminding everybody that Twitch Prime subs are free around here. Thank you very much, man. Uh, if, if if this is your first month sub, we, we did a lot of gifted subs earlier today. Please make sure you link that Twitch sub or the YouTube membership as well to your Discord account. That way you get all the benefits of being exclusive, a.k.a. the exclusive section of our Discord community. Uh, Mike Awesome, welcome back to Thirsty Thursday, man, with the Tier 1 resub coming back for 28 months in a row for 29 total. He says, a little bit off. It's it's, it's only one month off. It, it, it's way, way more accurate than Brett's number, which doesn't even tell me anymore how many months off it is. Uh, but thank you very much, month for uh, Mike, for the almost three-year support here on Twitch, man. Thank you very much. Mike is a true OG. Painful with the 10, but he says... How many generations of GPUs do you think it will be till, until Intel GPUs actually run smoothly? Really good question. Broadly enough to be full, yeah, fully relevant is, that's so far away. I don't know how many generations, but years, because we don't know what type of manufacturing output they're going to have. I, I don't know, man. It's definitely not next year. I, w I, I would optimistically say 2024 is when they are truly relevant. I think all of like the end of this year, if at all this year, um, and then I think all of 2023 in the in the states. Remember, it's it's mostly a uh, like a Chinese launch now at this point. Um, I think all of the next year, 2023, is going to be like YouTuber builds, thirsty Thursday, crazy builds, you know. 
overclocking builds, like super testy type builds, but it's not going to be re- I don't think they're going to be relevant to the end consumer at all next year. I would guess 2024 is when they would be relevant, but I'm not smart at all, so who knows. <laughs> that would be my guess. I, I I would actually I would I would venture to say I'm pretty confident in that. Yeah, they're out. They're out now. Thoughts on buying Twitter followers? Wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you're talking about Twitter. Any, any type of social media. If you have followers that aren't engaged with your content, like that's worse than not having followers. If you, if you have a 1,000 followers anywhere and they're fake and they're not actually engaging with your content, that tells the algorithm, hey, there's a 1,000 people that click that follow button, but they don't care at all about that creator. That's legitimately worse for you than if you have five followers and those five followers watch every single thing and, and like and comment on, on absolutely everything. Don't ever do that. Okay, guys, we got to build. What the f- – what are we doing here? Oh, my God. This, this, this is why you don't take a crown shot minute – 16 into the stream. That was stupid. You guys are just asking super engaging <laughs> and fun questions. I'm running a 5600X in an RTX 3090, no bottleneck. The 5600X, the 12600K, those those are like the sweet spots where you don't have to worry about bottlenecking at all. Yeah, for sure. Like the even the 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 Ryzen 5 3600 when it came out, that was at that position too before the 5000 series came out. Ryzen's always delivered, well, not always, but recently they've been delivering those sweet spots where if you don't need, like, extra CPU horsepower, they have those Ryzen 5 models where you, if you just want, like, a pure gaming experience, you can buy any graphics card you want. Okay, so for our AIO, this is the last thing we have to do with this motherboard prep. Uh Part of the Fantex deal for tonight's Thirsty Thursday is they also sent out this Glacier 1. This is my second time using it. I literally just used this uh, like a month ago when their G360A case came out, which I really, really liked. But this is the all-white version of the Glacier 1. This is a beautiful AIO. These these Fantex AIOs are probably my favorite-looking non-LCD screen AIOs on the market. I tough competition with the the MSI mag core liquids with like that super diffused block look with like the four like quadrants on there that one looks really good as well but just I, I I'm a sucker for this one as well especially welcome back to thirsty Thursday everybody um, but especially the the color scheme that they always advertise this like purple and light blue. Uh, th- th- these just look so good. And what also looks good is our danger who's back at Thursday Thursday with the hundred biddies. I'm drinking, man. I'm drinking. Thank you very much. Our danger. Let's go. The 3,600 was amazing value. It was, it was that, that, that'll go down. It, we, we took that one for granted. Like we all knew when, when the 3,100 came out, we all knew. If you could get your hands on it, we all knew. It was amazing price performance. One of the best on the entire market. When the 1600 AF came out, it was obvious. This, those, those type of CPUs, they were disruptors to the market. Um, but when the 3600 came out, like, we, we, we knew it was good. But we didn't know it was like you can use any GPU you wanted to for a while. And we didn't really, like, know how much value that had at least i didn't um but looking back on it yeah 3600 was that was a great launch for sure uh holler uh soul blade says i got the 33 the 33x yeah the 3300 the 3300x was even better but that one was super super difficult to find okay what are we doing here intel 1700 we need a backplate Is there a 1700 um, box here or no? No. This I- AIO takes forever to install, though. I don't remember all of the Intel names yet for the GPUs. Dude, I don't either at all. I've only watched a few videos about them at this point. 
Yeah, I do not have those memorized at all. No. Nah. Okay. Got our bracket here. Should go into the motherboard. I'll turn that overhead camera back on here soon. I forgot to turn on the fan to keep the overhead camera chilly. Forgot to do that. Maybe? Maybe I'll install this backplate. Who knows? I'm trying over here. Any suggestion for CPU GPU combo for flight sim only? Uh, you you can't add, that that's not a great way to ask a question. You you got to include the budget. You have to include the budget because if you ask that question to somebody, they have no idea if you're trying to play flight sim in 1080p, 720p, or 8K. We have no idea. Like, what is your budget? Did this really come with another full stick of um, Fantex thermal paste? Let's go. Much appreciated. That'll help us out here in just a minute when we do our thermal paste. Wheel spin. Okay, here we go. We have our Intel 1700. Let, let's turn this. Let's turn this on finally. We got our Intel 1700 uh, bag here with the screws we need. Turn on this fan. Bada bing. Bada boom. Hopefully that keeps our overhead fan nice and chilly. Yeah, I saw that Gamers Nexus just uploaded the, the ARC videos. The A380 and the A750, I haven't watched those yet. I need to. Yeah, for sure. All right, here's where we're at. We got this. Oh, jeez. Thirsty Thursday is a little rusty. The production quality is a little rusty. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> is it smart to buy better DDR4 RAM or wait a bit and upgrade to DDR5? For most people, we're still at the point where I'm recommending DDR4. Most people are not going to notice the difference between DDR4 and DDR5. The only thing that you're going to notice is the price. Now, the price of DDR5 is indeed dropping. It is continuing to drop. Um, it's going to be way more relevant uh, for the rest of this year and especially going into next year. For sure. It's not like... It's not like there's a question of, is DDR5 going to take over DDR4? It 100%, like the price will make sense. We will get to the point where DDR4 pricing doesn't make sense for most people. Uh, we're just not there yet. Right now, even if you're putting together a high-end system, unless if you have like an unlimited disposable income, um, DDR4 is still like way better price to performance just because you don't really notice that. Uh, performance increase. What's up, Archek? Yeah, welcome back to Thirsty Thursday. It does feel back. A little rusty here, uh, but we're building this super, super nice high-end system, which feels good. And we're rocking and rolling. You guys are asking some seriously good questions tonight, which is which is fun, man. I haven't. I I feel like I'm talking shop. I haven't talked shop for a while. Did you watch the Toasty Bros Company? What do you think of their PC selling business? Oh my god, did I watch that video. Oh, if I had the time, I would have watched it a second time. That was such a good video. Uh, if you guys missed it, the Toasty Bros, they have a... You guys should know this already. They have their PC Bros Company, which is like their gaming PC pre-built company. I secretly bought a PC from them. I uploaded a video about it, uh, reviewing it. Um, and they... They released a like behind the scenes video just like a week or two ago talking about their that business is generating 1 million dollars of revenue uh, a year right now. So they're selling a ton of builds, hundreds of builds per year, and they released like a full like behind the scenes breakdown of like the kind of money they're making, the processes, the employees they have and, and stuff. If you are a PC flipper, I would highly recommend watching that video. If anything, it'll just be like inspiration motivation to see like a pc selling company um grow like that it was it was really really interesting um like that's not what we do uh, on the ztt website we're purely just about selling the builds that uh, i'm building for content we don't ever build a pc just to sell it on the website uh we've, we've literally done that for one single build in the last almost year now uh, but um 
it, it, it was a super, super entertaining video. Now, I will say that uh, they admitted that they, they've generated $1 million of revenue in the last year, but they've, that's only created $5,000 of profit, which is pretty, pretty wild. Now, revenue numbers are just like flex numbers. And if you guys don't speak business, like when someone talks about their revenue numbers, like that literally could mean nothing. You could generate a million dollars of revenue and you could have lost money. Like you could have had $2 million worth of expenses and your profit is negative $1 million. Uh, the revenue number doesn't mean a lot, but at $1 million of revenue, that shows you how many builds they're selling. So builds sell anywhere from $500 to like $2,000, $3,000. That's a lot of builds. Um, and with the fact of like all the employees they have, all the infrastructure they have, all the warehouse they have to only come away with $5,000 of profit, which by the way, is a very normal thing to do for a startup company. A lot of startup companies don't even make profit uh, during the first few years. But regardless, like for me personally, it was, that was a big enough motivation for me to not jump in to like the gaming PC selling business any more than what I'm currently doing just because I couldn't imagine having all that extra responsibility, all that extra overhead. They're paying tens of thousands of dollars per month in overhead. So like for their warehouse, for their employees, for their supplies and whatnot, um, to just, just to have all of that only to make the business 5k worth of profit at the end of the year. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm not saying like they're, they're managing it poorly, uh, or, or anything like that. I have no idea if they were targeting lower or higher profit numbers, but it, it was just, it was really interesting. I, I love that style of video. I, I want to see, I want to see more behind the scenes business type of stuff like that from them. I really like that. There's gross and net gross. Revenue means nothing. Well, it doesn't mean nothing, uh, but it doesn't paint the, the the picture at all. Like for like what we're talking about, the revenue number does mean something. That shows you how much they're selling. Like when we know that their products are anywhere from five hundred dollars to two thousand, three thousand dollars, that paints a picture of how many builds they're selling. You know, it, it's a valuable number, but it doesn't mean anything in terms of how much money like they actually made. Yeah. But yeah, it was a really good video. Highly recommend it. I loved it. Farmers can typically easily make $1 million in revenue, but still net negative from costs. Yeah, I mean, like literally, literally any business could do that. For sure. Okay, let's let's finish installing this AIO port for four. All right, LGA1700, blah, blah, blah. We did that. Um, Mount, are we good? Are we already good? Do we only need... These, I think. Let's get out our pump real quick. Uh, Painful at the Ten Bitty says, a big question to ask would be, did they give themselves a raise based off of the revenue, which would cause the profit to be lower? Um, that's a great question. They did not answer that. I don't know if they're even taking any money. They, they've often said that they are... They do not work for the PC Bros company. PC Bros and Toasty Bros are completely different. Um, they have other employees that fully manage that system. I don't know, and I don't think they said if uh, Matt and Jackson are taking any money from PC Bros. I, I would be surprised if they are taking money from it. I, I, I feel like that they're just trying to like get a business started okay yeah we're just gonna put that on top of there nice um i feel like they're just trying to like get a startup business they're not they they, they can afford to take all of their money from just the toasty bros operation um so i i doubt it i doubt that that's causing the the low amount of profit uh percentage with the tier one sub comeback for three months in a row now rocking the silver ztt badge says hey zach i used to go by sg lol pants uh, and used to be very into the Twitch streams, though I had to take a step back from the tech stuff because of things going on in my life. But I'm excited to say that I'm back. Well, welcome back with the new name. Thank you very much for the three-month resub, my man. I appreciate that. Uh, Star over on YouTube says, thoughts on Jay's Two Cents video insisting everyone go, I know, I, I, I need to watch it. So here's, here's one of the things I'm going to be doing, guys. Um, 
I've had I've had a lot of time to think about how I want to take the the non thirsty Thursday. This build's like literally never gonna get done. Um, but again, another good question. Uh, I I really want to start reacting and reviewing YouTube videos for people in the PC building space. Um, we are going to start very very soon. Um, I should have started this week, but I forget what happened. Um, but I want to start reviewing and reacting live to all of these, like, like that Jay's two cents video, just judging by the title and the thumbnail alone and how many views it got, uh, would have been a great video to watch with you guys, uh, and then talk about it, react to it and whatnot. I'm super, super excited to be doing that. Um, I really, obviously I want to do it for like videos like that, just like market update videos, pricing update videos, like uh, like new product release videos, stuff like that, just like all the new stuff. But I also just want to review people's build guides, like when the Toasty Bros come out with a build guide, Nerd on a Budget, you know, Tech by Matt, like all those people. Uh, Linus has been releasing quite a few build guides uh, over the last week or two. I want to I wanna watch those, and I want to review and react to them live with you guys because um, I'm probably going to have a lot to say about it. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. We're going to start that real soon on the non Thursday Thursday streams. I'm really excited. Uh, Striker with the Twitch Prime sub, reminding everybody the Twitch Prime subs are free. Thank you very much, man. Uh, come back for seven months in a row. He says, seven months, baby. Thank you very much, man. That, that's a long time. Appreciate it. What's a good graphics card for starting PCs? Again, terrible question. You have to you always have to include a budget. Anytime you ask somebody for advice. Zach, I sold a PC with a 2600, an i7 2600? Oh, 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 wow. Okay, Intel second gen. Got it. Um, 2600 uh, gigabyte Z77, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, uh, blah, 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 66 Ti, 660 Ti for $400, but it was on a $100 profit. Nice. Yeah, that's what's up. $400 somebody paying for that? Like Intel second gen, like that's still that's obviously awful. You sold them a graphics card that uh is legitimately end of life, but for 400 bucks. They didn't get an awful deal. They didn't get a great deal, but glad to see you got a $100 profit there. Linus doesn't really do budget. He just released a budget video. I haven't watched it yet. 69 viewers on Twitch. Nice. Let's go. Uh, do all the website uh, builds restock? None of the website builds restock. We don't ever re – we've literally never restocked a build in the website history. We only ever sell one-of-one one builds like this. Whether I build it for YouTube, for Twitch, or whatever, um, we, ju we just sell one-of-one one builds. They don't ever restock. Uh, I'm good, Blitz. How are you doing, man? F finally back in Thirsty Thursday. We are going a little bit slow here, but um, we're going to make it happen. Okay, so we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, I do need this. We do need that. Um, and that should be it. Okay, so what I want to do now is let's start prepping our radiator fans, and then we'll then we'll move to the power supply. This is going so slow. People at but he says, you missed the raid? What raid? I didn't see a raid at all. What do you think of used mining GPUs? I'm about to buy a 3060 Ti for $400. Uh, I mean, they're fine. Just like no different than buying a used graphics card from anybody else. Do your research. Make sure you're buying on a website uh, that has uh, buyer protections. Make sure that you're buying from some, somebody that has a clear positive selling history uh, and just make sure that that individual listing product photos the actual text and whatnot just make sure it looks legit man like you, you just got to do your due, due diligence um, on a very stereotypical level miners take care of their graphics cards better than uh, gamers do that obviously is not always going to be the case uh, but I mean mining on a GPU is fine Painful with 100 bitties says, oh, a train? Are we back at a train already? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's get out our fans here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So, for the radiator, I'm going to be installing it. Oh, wait. How am I going to be installing it? We, we got to make this decision first. Again, 360 millimeter radiator here, and we cannot install it in the front. The front has... The infinity design 
RGB up here. So it looks like we can either install it at the top or the side right here. Vertically like that. I have my preference. What do you guys think is your preference? Where do you think the best... We, we have three RGB fans to use. So Fantex sent out these 120 millimeter DRGB white fans. We have three of those and the fans that came included with the AIO are all white. These are not RGB, unfortunately. So where do you guys think we should install the radiator? I have an op, I have, I already know what I'm gonna do, but I wanna see if you guys are thinking the same thing. <laughs> what do you guys think? Painful the 10, but he says do the side. Remember, the side doesn't have RGBs. The, or the, I'm sorry, the radiator doesn't have RGBs. Now we could put the, put the fans that are RGB on the radiator, but Painful says he got he's got the pole up. Okay, let's see what let's see what the people say. Top or side for the radiator? All right, hundred percent on the side. Wow. Wow. The AIO didn't come with the halo ring. We do have the halo rings though. Yeah, we do have the halo rings. I probably should have said that. So they're kind of RGB. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I should have said that first. Radiator on the side, white fans on the top. You knocked your... Yeah, I saw. I knocked the, the case. It's fine, though. No, it's not going to fall. It's, it's fine. Side. 86% on the side. Okay. <laughs> Pave with the temp, but he says RGB fans on the radiator, though. Well, that's the thing. I 100% want the RGB... Well, I forgot about these halo rings. I forget what these look like. Actually, I, I forgot about that concept. I was thinking we weren't using RGBs. Yeah, never mind. Okay. So we... I, I was originally thinking the AIO has to be on the top. Because I wanted the RGB fans on the side. But I forgot that these halo rings... They make the non-RGB fans kind of RGB. It should give it a nice little glow. So I think we can put the radiator on the side and then the RGB fans on the top. I think we can get away with it. However, oh wait, yeah, there's no rear exhaust fan slot. Yeah, so I, th I think we should do that. I think you guys are right. 80% uh, of you said, um, said put it on the side. I think that's what we're going to do. Bush says, oh, oh, Dolcetto fan raid. Let's go. Thank you for the raid, man. Much appreciated. That, I feel like that's a little late, but thank you. Top because of the minimal RGB? Radiator top? People on YouTube are saying top. You should use white RGB in that white case. Yeah, most likely the RGB color is just going to be white. There is a potential possibility that I've always been digging the... All, every single Fantex RGB product advertises the same light blue, blue, and purple color scheme. And it looks really good, uh, especially on their AIOs like this. So we might make the RGBs that color. I'm not sure. Top is just easier. Is it? Then the side, like the side isn't that difficult. Yeah, I've always thought that the top looks better. I, I got to figure this out because I need to know what direction I'm mounting these fans. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go take a quick bathroom break and contemplate this. Uh, you guys all said side though, so I feel like I gotta go with what you're saying. But painful somebody says swap the fans, RGB fans on the radiator, RGB fans on radiator on the side, and halo fans on top. Uh, Immortal, welcome to Thirsty Thursday, man. With the somebody says side would have to be intake and fight the flow from the vertical GPU. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, yeah that. <laughs> Take into account, ladies and gentlemen, we are using a founder. Oh, God, that's going to throw everything off. We are using a founder's edition graphics card that is vertically mounted as well. <laughs> that throws everything off. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
I had to resort to the exclusives, aka the Twitch subs and the YouTube members in the Discord community. I don't think side is the right option. Um, so far, Mark and Brad have both voted top in the exclusives and not that i value exclusives more than everybody else but i do value their opinions more than i don't know guys i think we might go top i think we might go top and for the sake of just making this decision um over with i think that's what we're gonna do you guys think that's cool can't stick around good to have the streams back thanks zach and the mods thank you very much for uh stopping by og welcome back to thirsty thursday we're gonna do the top we're gonna do the top and we are going to install it like this uh cbm with the switch prime sub come back for 17 months for 17 total thank you very much man for the support that is big time let's go brad also in the fit of bitty committee says now entering the committee welcome back to the committee brad a little late but you know how we roll if you show up late just join the join with your fitted biddies and you're good to go i think we're gonna install it like this we got the top mounted tubes in the front gonna have it routed like this the very typical this is how i usually do my aio mounts i think aesthetically this is the best with the tubes routing this way especially got these extra long tubes here um, I think I think this will look good. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna install all of the fan cables to come out uh, this backside here, including the halos, which means the fan situation. It's going to be a push setup here, and it's not only going to be a push like this. Um, it's pushing air from the case through the radiator out the top as an exhaust setup. All the cables are going to be uh, facing me, but we're also going to be putting these halos on top of here, which we also need to make sure that the cables are all routed in the correct position. And boom, this is what the AIO setup is going to be like. Everybody happy with that? I think we're going to go. Uh, T Monkey with Twitch Prime Sub. First ever month. Thank you very much, man. Make sure you link that Twitch account with the... With the Discord account, that way you get all the benefits of being an exclusive, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Terry says, I am monkey. You love to see somebody coming from YouTube over to Twitch. That's what's up. Painful somebody says, with the rad as exhaust on the top and the vertical mounted GPU, I think you would need to go exhaust fans on the side too. And do, oh yeah, that's another question too. Do you think? I like. <laughs> I will be honest here as I start to install these. I have always thought that I, I, I know the Gamers Nexus crowd. I know the enthusiast crowd. Anyone that takes cooling actually seriously is going to disagree with this. But I have always thought that people overrate the importance of the fan setup with the NVIDIA 30 series Founders Edition cards. Like, does it, like, I, I, I'm fully aware that you can get a couple of a degrees difference. But I don't think that you would actually see an FPS difference at all. I don't think it's a big enough difference where it would actually affect your day-to-day -day life. Um, with, like, a situation like this. Like, if I did... The these side fans being intake or exhaust. I don't think so, man. Uh, B Pan with the uh, gift. Oh, becoming another gift of God of the night. Gift that's here. One sub two. Crappy Hayden. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Crappy Hayden. Congrats on your tier one sub, man. That's what's up. All right, let's start installing this. Por favor. What do you guys think? Would force the air from the intake from the bottom. Getting we don't have intake from the bottom though. What are you talking about? We don't we don't have we don't have enough fans for intake at the bottom. People with somebody says my other reason is that the side RGB fans look one thousand times better as exhaust aesthetically. Well now that's a reason I can get behind. Absolutely. Do they? 
they look better as exhaust? That's usually not the case. Um, I just I just got done using those fans too, um, but I don't I don't really remember that being the situation. But I kind of believe you. If they look better as exhaust fans, then oh my god, are these screws not long enough? What the f wow, that is barely any threading at all. With these halo rings, that is barely any thread for that screw to get into the radiator. Am I even... No. Is it in? I don't think it's in. I don't know why my... Streamlabs always gets messed up like this. Yes, it does? Really? Okay, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at that. I would definitely do exhaust if, the, if that's actually the case. 100%. <laughs> if it's for the aesthetics, absolutely. Okay, I'm very confused. Am I using a shorter screw than I need to be? Uh, yeah, if you mount them as intake, then you see the back of the fans with the supports and whatnot. Okay, okay. I mean, I believe you. Oh, I am using a shorter screw. Wow. All right. There we go. Thought they were all the same. There we go. All right. Now we're back in business. We're cooking with fire. Okay, so I need to separate. I can't use these shorter screws. I gotta use the long boys. Can you water cool with beer? Uh, I mean, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, the ca this case does not have any uh, air coming from the front. Look at your gift card bar. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't even notice that. We're at 28 subs on the night already? Oh, my goodness. You guys are not messing around with this uh, return of Thirsty Thursday. We got to do a Steam gift card giveaway sub. You know, I was starting to make some progress here. How about we do it after after the AIO is situated? Not installed, but prepped. We'll do it, we'll do it as soon as this is prepped. Yeah, wow. Thank you guys very much. 28 subs on the night. Let's go. Is there any way to tell if I'm getting good priced performance? Um, honestly, one of my biggest metrics, which is not like... It doesn't really apply to people that don't build a lot, but I can tell based off of, I'm sure a lot of you flippers can as well at this point. That's a short screw. That's why that's not working. Um, but I can usually tell, or I mean, I can always tell if a good build or if a build is good or bad price performance based off of how much it costs and the time spy score. Like that time spy score after you've run it on what? 500 builds or so uh, I, I I can tell right off the bat if it's decent price to performance or not um, but as far as like just knowing right off the bat if you don't have like a ton of market experience or just like PC hardware experience in general um, there isn't like a shortcut of how to how to determine that unfortunately Painful Tempity says, I was waiting to you more done before mentioning the giveaway. Yeah, good call. We're, we're, we got to make some progress here. Uh, but now one thing I am questioning is I don't have enough screws. These are all short boys. I don't have enough screws for these halos. Is that a mistake? Oh, no. I see some extras in a different bag. Okay, we're good. Got it. I was gonna say whenever you think you're missing a piece to assembling something you you never are you're never missing a piece if you're building legos if you're assembling ikea furniture you know maybe some outdoor patio furniture or maybe even a radiator if you ever think you're missing a piece you literally never are you just gotta find it Oh, 
almost done with this AIO setup. I think the AIO already has liquid in it. Yeah, it does. AIOs come with the liquid pre pre filled up in there. You're good to go. AIOs are a super super big convenience um, for water cooling. They don't require any maintenance. At this point in the lifespan of AI, the AIO industry, you don't really have to worry about too many issues. Of course, a couple of them have had recalls, but not enough for us to worry about. Yeah, it's just good to go. It works out of the box. It's essentially plug and play. I spent six hours today on a build on PC Part Picker, and now I'm wondering if I can get the same performance for less money. Well, if you spent six hours on it, and you think you can get better price to performance, then I would recommend a different hobby. <laughs> I mean, I have never gotten anywhere close to spending six hours on a PC part picker list. That is obnoxious. Um, I would not. <laughs> After six hours, that, that, that feel better be dialed in, man. <laughs> K Mariotti with the tier one sub come out for 15 months in a row for 16 total says, let's go. I'm late, but I'm here again. If you show up late, as long as you come with some fitty bitty action or maybe a resub action, it's all good in my book. You're allowed to show up late if that's the case. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hopefully all is well over there at uh, AES Tech Operations. Okay, so uh, basically, oh, I'm not showing you guys this. Uh, hardware also joining late with the Twitch Prime sub coming back for nine months in a row for 25 total says, hola, mi amigos, hola. Hardware, welcome to Thirsty Thursday. Welcome to the return of Thirsty Thursday. Took a little bit of a breather. And we came back better than ever with some shots right away. That's why we are now an hour and 45 minutes into this build. And we're not even close to it being done. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just trying to get the daisy chain situation going here. Uh, and actually, I think I want to daisy chain the other way. Yeah, let me go the other way here. Um, so you can set it so you determine what direction these fans get daisy chained out of. And I want the daisy chain to come out of this side. Because when I'm mounting this radiator, radiator like this, I want to be able to use this PWM connector on this top right connector of the motherboard since it is right there that will be super convenient we won't have to use an extension or anything i'll be able to plug that in right there now as far as the rgb daisy chain go goes i don't know what the rgb setup on the case is looking like um so we're just going to kind of wing that and hopefully that is all good to go and then we got our pump here we got the 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 top of the pump so th this is pretty much prepped and ready to go we are done with our aio we are done with our motherboard now we need to prep our power supply and then we can finally actually start putting parts into this case came here with with 100 biddies says busy af got but gotta support ztt much appreciated my man today we're building in oh and hardware with 100 biddies i'm dude i'm drinking man i got you Okay, Mariotti, today we are building inside the just launched today Fantex Cube 2. Cube IM2, I think it's called, with the Infinity Mirror, Infinity Mirror design up at the front panel. It's a dual chamber case. Very excited to actually start putting parts in here. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe. Who knows? We're going a little slow tonight. <laughs> hey, Zach Plus community. Thank you for all the help, videos, and messages. Helping me put together my first PC part picker list, which I will save for and purchase as my first PC. Many thanks again. I'm glad to hear that, man. That's awesome. Or, or like, despite like every Discord, every big Discord community having like, we actually haven't had drama in like the last. How long has it been since we had legitimate drama in the ZTT Discord server? It's been like a a year. Like, we haven't actually had, like, legit drama in a while. We've actually been very drama-free. Um, but, of course, we have trolls, people that get banned and whatnot. 
Um, but aside from all that, like it's actually a super, super useful resource. We got our PC build advice. We got our flipping advice channels. We got our, our tech support channels and whatnot. The explanation my Discord server is actually like super useful uh, for beginners. Um, we, we just have like so many people who are just like very willingly um, giving their time to help people out like on a one-on-one -on -one one on one level it's awesome to see brad with the fitty bitty says this build is about to look so damn good i don't know about about to like this build's gonna look good in a couple hours from now but it will it will look good oh it's just not anytime soon harbor with the fitty bitty says uh since getting rid of a-holes yeah i mean we do a pretty good job like the drama free thing isn't by accident it's because we do a good job of modding and we have the correct mods taking care of the server. That's why we are drama free. It's not luck. <laughs> Discord link. Type in exclamation point Discord. You'll see it. It's also linked on every single YouTube. I see you're over on YouTube. It's on every single YouTube video. Flying Brian. Yeah, I got help on my personal and my friend's PC part picker list. That's awesome, man. That's great to hear. The, 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 the cool thing is there's so much help being had in the Discord server that I don't even see, you know? Because I, I, I personally am not in the, like, building advice channels too often. I'm more, like, in the exclusives and the gaming, the Diablo um, type of the, the, the dad life channel, the home server, like, stuff I'm personally interested in. But, like, there, there's so many conversations in there every single day of, like, people helping other people with their their PC part picker list, their troubleshooting and whatnot. It's awesome. <clears throat> Can you show how to connect AIO pins in detail later? AIO pins? Like just the connectors? Like the PWM and RGB connectors? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll tell you where, where everything's connecting, but... It, I don't know if that's what you mean. Is that it? Because other, other than that, it, it wouldn't be too different than like a normal just air cooler. It's just PWM connections. The RGBs are, are going to be different on every manufacturer's AIO. Like Fantex, they use their own proprietary RGB connections. Some AIOs use like the standard 3-pin, 4-pin RGB, ARGB connectors and whatnot. But that all depends. Can you give me that PC? Yeah, just send me a DM. Yeah, for sure. Actually, DM DM uh, Doctor Zoomer on on Discord. He handles all of the all of the Discord giveaways. Like, if you ask, if you ask nicely for a PC or especially a graphics card, just Doctor Zoomer, the guy that posts on all of the all of the ZTT deals listings and whatnot. He just he just gives away. PCs, we, we, we allocate like a few thousand dollars every month just to give away PCs that uh, to people that ask for it. Just DM him. Uh, and if he doesn't answer right away, just, just DM him multiple times. Payful to 10, but he says, there was some drama a few months ago, but if people are going to use racial slurs and homophobic language, then I don't care how many friends threaten to quit the server, you are still getting... Yeah, that's not drama. <laughs> that's not drama in my book. Like if someone use, if if someone says something racist in the server, that's not drama. That's just you get banned. <laughs> that's easy. That's just an easy you're out of here type thing. <clears throat> no, we, we we've had some legit legit drama in the past. Things that, things that are like not like super easy ban worthy, you know. But that but not for not for a really long time. Harbor with ten, ten Biddy says at Dr. Zoomer. Yep, that that's him. He does all the he does all the ZTT giveaway operations. Let let's see what he's up to actually. Everybody, let's just take a quick break from the build right now. Everyone head to the exclamation point Discord server. Uh, whether you're on YouTube or Twitch, let's just take a quick break. Let's go to the general chat. And everyone just tag at Dr. Zoomer. And just feel free, just type in at doctor, and then you'll find him, Dr. Zoomer. Um, let, let, let's ask him for, like, a free GPU. Can I get, because because he gives me GPU sometimes, too. Just in the in the general chat, Dr. Zoomer, can I get 
that GPU, please. If you want to request a specific one, that's also perfectly fine. Uh, but just just let him know that you want that free graphics card or a gaming PC. If you want to list out the specs of what you want, that's perfectly fine. He will hook you up. Can I get that GPU? Poor favor. You know, be nice to him. Don't don't be disrespectful. Um, but yeah, hopefully he hooks us all up, ladies and gentlemen. Doctor Zoomer, if you haven't already seen, is not in the Thirsty Thursday live stream today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so. Yeah, let's give him some love. Let's give him some love. <laughs> the Windows key fiasco wasn't drama. No, that was that was one asshole. <laughs> like that's not that's not that's not real drama, guys. <laughs> Someone got hold of. Yeah, thank you guys. There we go. Doctor Zoomer, can I get a free PC? Where you at, homie? Una, una computadora, por favor. That'll work. Ayo, you got one of them uh, Arc GPU? Yeah, you might have an Intel Arc GPU. That's a good question, actually. Por favor, amigo mio, can I get that GPU, por favor? Yeah, just let him know. He'll send something, uh, and he'll write all of your guys' name down, names down. That way he doesn't forget. Nemesis says a 5800X 3D and a 3090, please. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Okay. No, the... The Windows 10 key, that wasn't drama. That's just one dude being an asshole. And honestly, I can't even really blame him. So... The, the digital, if you guys didn't see, Digital Chill Mart, I've always, I've always said this ever since I started working with them. They are my favorite Windows 10 or Windows 11 key reseller that I've ever worked with just because they don't like waste any time. You, as soon as that order goes through, you get your key right on the website. You don't have to wait for payment to process and you don't have to wait for an email. The key literally just shows up on the very next page after the order goes through. I really like that. And with my discount, um, it, it's always the cheapest out of any of the third-party resellers. I've always said that we use Digital Chill Mart for almost all of our keys. We, we use GBG Mall a good bit, um, but Digital Chill Mart, we definitely use the most. I have a good relationship with the owner of Digital Chill Mart. And like him and I just go back and forth. We've been working together for over a year now for the YouTube sponsorships and whatnot. And he set me up with a, a discount code, which was, um, what was it? The discount code was just Zach, Z-A-C, it does not work anymore. It was just Zach. And that was my personal discount code that I could use and I could get any key no matter what for free. And that was just like the, the, the deal that we came to agreement on where I haven't paid for my own Windows 10 key for like a year now just because he's been hooking me up for free. Um, but the discount code that we advertised to the YouTube channel was ZTT, which was like the 50% off or whatever. Somebody just accidentally typed in Zach instead of ZTT because I haven't told a single soul. I don't, I, I've never even told an employee at ZTT about the Zach discount. I've, I've never told anybody that. Um, but somebody in our Discord server just was just like, he didn't copy it from the YouTube video. He was just like trying to remember off the top of his head and he typed in Zach, Z-A-C, Z-A-C-H, and he got the key for free. So this asshole just bought all of the keys that were remaining on the site. It was like 80 keys or so. I wouldn't consider that drama. That's just somebody uh, being a dick. Um, but we have since changed the, I still have my free key. I'm surprised that <laughs> he's, he's still hooked me up with that. Um, but it is way, way more complex now than Zach and nobody will ever guess this one. And in hindsight, it was the worst possible idea to make my free discount code just Z-A-C-H. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> but yeah, that's the story on that one. <laughs> terrible idea it was awful i don't know why we we i mean to be fair he gave me that code it's not like i decided on it uh but yeah definitely in hindsight not a good idea at all okay what do we need 24 pim sata gpu cpu that should be it painful the temp says so doc has a list of everyone that wants free stuff and what they want does that make him tech santa instead of deals gone he, he can be Tech Santa if he delivers. Yeah, if he delivers, he can be Tech Santa. Right. 
Hello, Zach and, and chat. Are you playing in a basketball league? Uh, I'm not in a league. I'm, I'm just in like a a like a uh, a group of basketball players at LA Fitness here in Pittsburgh. We have a group chat of like 100 people or so. It's obnoxious. Um, but I, I do play a lot of basketball, but it, it's not a league. It's just a, a group of people that play. We play at um, 5.30 a.m. at LA Fitness. Harbor with 10, but he says Discord Jen is funny. I'm sure it's going... I'm sure it's pretty entertaining right now. Okay, so for our power supply, Fantex also hooked us up with this. This is the Fantex Amp 1000 watt PHP 1000G power supply, 80 plus gold. I think this is tier A, fully modular. It also has all white cables, but we are using white and black extensions for this build. And it is a beautiful, beautiful AIO. Or, oh my God, AIO, uh, power supply. But uh, shout out to Fantex for also hooking us up with this for this Thirsty Thursday build. And I will say, let's switch over to here real quick. Um, we are finally, well, not finally. I haven't been pushing this too hard. But ever since I started like bringing up this idea, we're getting a lot of manufacturers now who are sending parts just for Thirsty Thursday, which is awesome. We've always been at the part where... Most of the builds that I've been doing on Thirsty Thursday, uh, I've been fully financing them because, like, the, the coverage we get on Thirsty Thursday stream is obviously nowhere close to, like, the dedicated, the dedicated YouTube videos. That's tens of thousands of views versus the, oh, well, we are at half a million right now, but usually the streams don't have that many people on it. Um, but now we're at the point thankfully, where manufacturers are cool with just sending parts for us to play with and build on Thirsty Thursday, and I don't have to make the dedicated main YouTube channel video. I'm also uploading a lot of these, like the live stream and the the chopped up videos that hardware has been editing on the ZTD Extras channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to that, make sure you check that out. That has all like the, the, the stream highlights and whatnot, in case if you missed it, the the quick case reviews and all that, which we will be doing today. Um, and yeah, with just that, we've been getting a lot of these piece of hardware just for Thirsty Thursday, which I'm super excited about. Thirsty Thursday, it's Friday. <laughs> it's almost Friday. It's about to be Thirsty Friday over here for sure. When are you restocking the gaming PCs, please? And thank you. August 1st. It's always the first of the month. Always the first of the month, um, unless if we take that month off, which we did July 1st. But August 1st is the next one. It's going to be big. 12 to 15 gaming PCs ranging from builds like this all the way down to like, I think we're going to have like a two to $300 build on there. Uh, we definitely have some ultra budget builds this time. It's going to be a massive launch. They will sell very quickly. One of the benefits of being ex being an exclusive, AKA a YouTube member or a Twitch sub is on the first of every month when I launch the website, I actually launch it to just the exclusives. We password protect the website for like 30 to 60 minutes. That way the exclusives get first crack at the website before uh, like the rest of the public does. And we always have at least one exclusive by a PC build. Um, so that pays off for them. So if, if you're actually serious and you, like you legitimately have been saving up money and you want to buy some serious, seriously aesthetic price performance builds, um, then I will wait for August 1st. And I, I, I do think that the uh, the being exclusive is worth it just for that. I mean, you pay five bucks and then you have a guarantee uh, shot at like whatever build you want. Those extensions look great. Yeah, these are from Easy DIY. Now, the one thing that we we had to buy extra was since our 3070 ti is founders edition we had to buy this 12 pin adapter which easy diy also makes um but the slight problem with the i think i need a knife the the slight problem with these is the gauge is always off for every brand i've seen so far for the 12 pin cable like the the way the 12 pin is designed is you can't really get a much thicker gauge wire 
one here. So like the gauge of this wire compared to this one is way smaller. I don't know if you can really see on camera what the difference is, uh, but these are significantly thinner cables. Now, if you buy from the same manufacturer like Easy DIY, that ensures that you're getting at least the same color profile where like the, the black shade and the white shade, they're picture perfect on here, which is awesome. Now, the one thing we also have to buy extra or, I mean, I already had an inventory, but you, you definitely want to take advantage or you want to pay attention to is the cable extensions on 12 pins. Most people don't have it just because these, these cables are significantly smaller than what a normal cable extension would be. So you can't use the extra cable combs that you may have in inventory. So I'm going to keep the pre-combed clear cable combs on here. And then instead of using the white cable combs, hopefully this is making sense, sense. Instead of using the white cable combs that came on these extensions, I'm going to use extra clear ones just to match the color of this one. Because I don't want to use these clear cable combs on the 12 pin and then use the included white ones or black ones on the rest of them. That, that won't look good. So we're going to use clear for all of them. Hopefully that all made sense. Probably not, though. There's a good chance it didn't. Got it? <laughs> Is there a link for the case? Uh, I don't know. Um, oh, wow. I just realized that I didn't link any of the products in the exclamation point build. Mark is supposed to be... Mark, what are you doing, man? You're supposed to be letting me know that I messed that up. If you type in exclamation point build, you can see the full parts list. I just now realized that I didn't include any links to those those parts, though. My fault. I completely forgot about that. It made sense? Okay, good. Bitwit uh, F the PC case because he used the wrong cable mod. Well, I don't use cable mods. I don't think I've ever used a cable mod, honestly. Cable mod did reach out recently, though. Um, I always use cable extensions. Cable extensions, you can't mess up. I'm sure somebody can find a way to mess up. But cable extensions just work with any power supply. You don't have to match them. They just connect on the end of the normal cables. It's much easier. Way more beginner friendly. And it's way cheaper as well. Where is my CPU? Oh, I, already, I did already use that. Okay, we're good. Cool. Okay, so now that we have the cable extensions installed, like I said, I brought some clear cable combs to use just so we can match them with the 12 pin. So here's a pack of just clear cable combs we'll put on here real quickly. Painful at the 10, but he says, I missed that do to stuff. Why can't you slide the clear combs down on the 12 pin and do custom combs? Because the gauge of the wires on the 12 pin extensions on every unit I've tested so far or have used so far, the gauge of these wires is significantly smaller than the gate. Look, hopefully you can see this. Look at the difference of these. The, yeah. Look right there. Look right here where my finger is. Look at the difference in that gauge. It is so much smaller. So you can't use normal cable combs with these 12 pin extensions. That's why we're using the, the, the pre combed ones. I don't think they make 12 pin. Ex I haven't seen a 12 pin extension that uses normal, normal gauge of uh, all the other extensions. Damn. Very good to know. Yeah. I got, I got you painful. See, I have value every now and then I can help you out every now and then, but yeah, that, that that's why we're using these and, and like these easy DIY extensions, they only come with white cable combs, which is why you always keep your cable combs from previous projects so you don't have to rebuy them. Um, we had all these extra clear ones to use because I almost never use clear. Looking forward to these dope gaming PCs on August 1st. Peace out, peace out for now. Thanks for stopping by the stream, man. Appreciate it. If you are trying to buy one on August 1st, good luck. We, we will have at least one or two more Thirsty Thursday live streams to talk about it. I'll, I'll have some more details later. Right now we're at the point where like all the all the videos that you see on YouTube, most of them 
are just going to turn into builds that you'll see on the website. Uh, but I'm not touching any of them. Like that's that's Sam's department. He does all the the configuring and posting on the website and whatnot. I don't ever see the builds that are posted on the website until like a day or a day or two before they launch. Um, Cause I do like my, my review and my testing and whatnot to make sure everything's good to go. But I, I'm never like up to speed in the middle of the month of what builds are on the website at this point. It's not thickness. It's how you use it. Yeah. I mean, that's a real good point. Pantera, you know, it's not always just about the thickness and the numbers for sure. Will I be able to use uh, cable extensions on a semi or not? Yeah, you can use it. That, that's the good thing about extensions. You can use them on any type of power supply, whether it's modular, semi-modular, or not modular at all. All you do with extensions is you plug them into the end of the connector, whether this is a modular cable or a non-modular cable. You just plug. Now, now, now the one downfall is you have a significantly larger amount of cables that you have to cable manage. That, that's that's the only actual downfall of using cable extensions. Um, whereas a cable mod, you, you, you wouldn't have that issue. But cable mods and custom cables are just way, way more expensive than cable extensions. Zach, are you planning to do a PC part picker live stream anytime soon? Uh, yeah, w we need to do that soon. Um, like I said, I, I want to do my video reviews, build review live streams but yeah we're i'm gonna i'm gonna pick it up i'm gonna i'm gonna get back into the groove of doing the non-thirsty thursday streams here soon i i really like the break i took i haven't done a non-thirsty thursday stream in a uh, a few months now taking a little break from the the saturday streams the tuesday streams before that um but i, I i'm getting there i'm getting ready you know my, my mental capacity is it's pretty tough for me mentally to stream twice a week. Uh, just, you know, business life, dad life especially. Uh, but uh, I, I'm getting there. I, I'm getting ready to do the, the two streams a week again. But now all of our parts are prepped. So our motherboard was prepped like three hours ago. Our AIO was prepped two hours ago. And now we have the power supply, which is prepped and ready to go. So we can finally get this Fantex Neo Cube 2 up here on the table and actually start installing some components in here. So once again, this the embargo for this literally just dropped today. I've been sitting on this case for a good bit. Fantex sent it out extra early. Uh, and all they wanted was coverage on Thirsty Thursday here, which is great. So... This, I, I have no idea what the MSRP is. I don't even know if it's for sale yet. Um, but this is the brand new case. It's, 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 I really like the, the, the dual chamber design on it. We'll be talking about this uh, as I'm building inside of it. But the one thing that's pretty interesting is to uninstall either the front panel, which I already did at the studio, because I don't ever travel with the, the glass side panel. That's just an unnecessary risk. Um, but to uninstall the tempered glass side panel or the rear panel, you have to uninstall one of the top panels. So for the rear panel, you have to install this little uninstall this little top panel because the rear panel, it slides up. It's actually a really cool mechanism. Let me see if I can get it on camera. It's actually really cool. I like this. So this is the side panel here. And there's three screws, which let me zoom out real quick. There's three screws. This is how the front panel is too. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. And these three screws, one, two, and three, they like slot up and over into this. And then they just like slide down, like up and over. And then you just kind of drop it and it falls into place. It's actually kind of cool. However, like I like that part of it, but what I don't like is to uninstall them, you have to uninstall a separate panel. So whether it's the front panel or the rear panel, there's an extra panel that you have to uninstall, which is kind of annoying. I, I don't really like that aspect of it, but how often are you actually going to be getting access to that? Who knows? 
Uh, painful with the tempity says longer cables aren't a downside when you cable manage like ZTT. That's true. It has zero effect on me. <laughs> You can get cable mods at Micro Center for seventy dollars. All the cables you need. Yeah, see, that's that's triple the price of cable extensions. Most cable extensions are fifteen to twenty-five dollars. Yeah, I, I I couldn't imagine spending seventy dollars per build. I put cable extensions in every single build I do. Like, I couldn't imagine spending that much extra money on every single build. That'd be wild. No, I still have not fixed the monitor. Nothing has changed here. <laughs> Since the last Thirsty Thursday live stream, I haven't thought about this Thirsty Thursday stream at all, except for when I came home from vacation and the, uh, the basketball hoop was down. If you guys missed it, when I got back from the beach, the, <laughs> the basketball hoop fell. That's the only change. <laughs> Painful to Tempity says extensions can go on sale as low as 10 bucks. Yep. I love the space in the back of that case. That that that's the cool thing, man. That's the really cool thing about dual channel case or uh, dual chamber cases is what they call. The power supply goes back here instead of at the bottom or the top, and you just have this whole chamber here. Nothing is gonna go here except for cables. We are not gonna be cable managing the back of this at all. It it's amazing for people like me. This should be my personal belt. I should use this as a personal belt. That shaky cable is giving me an, uh, anxiety. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Can you see it? No. Just out of frame right here are table legs. It's actually the standing table legs. I bought that now like two months ago, and I still haven't installed it yet. We do have better table legs for this table. It will be standing so I can adjust it, but more importantly than that, it will be stable AF. Uh, I just, I gotta find the time. I, I, I'm, I'm swamped over here, man. I'm swamped. I don't got time for stuff like that right now, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so I need to get so get tired now too. We're gonna have to fight some, we're gonna need to find some energy here soon. I need some motherboard screws. My supply is very low, so we're going to have to take some out of here. Okay. All right. Hopefully, Fantex did us a solid and the correct standoffs are installed. Well, I, I haven't looked. What are the chances that the correct standoffs for an ATX case are installed in this ATX motherboard? The last, like, three or four cases that we've done, the... The standoffs have not been properly set for ATX, and it's super annoying. Please, Fantex, one time. Nice. Okay. All right, we're off to an officially good start with this case. All right, here we go. Here's our motherboard, which, again, was prepped like four hours ago at this point. Put that right there. We got the one standoff that gives us some... Uh, stability. We are good to go. Actually, I gotta uninstall this. Oh, never mind. We're not good. Our motherboard had some plastic peel action that I forgot to do on the AI or on the IO shield. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. What's your best PC build? Um, uh, probably my personal build at the office, which isn't like super impressive for somebody that has access to all the hardware I want. <laughs> uh, it is a 12700K and uh, the 3080 Founders Edition. That's, that's probably the most powerful PC I've ever built. So not like anything absolutely wild. Painful to 10, but he says 100% radiator up top was the right choice. That gap from the top of the case. Oh, yeah, that's a really good point. I didn't notice it till right now. That's a really good point. That is a serious gap that is begging for a radiator. That would look very awkward with just fans up there. Wow, good call. Yeah, absolutely. That is a massive gap. That is huge.
Why do the Z690, B550, and X570 Steel Legend boards have to look so much nicer than the B660s? Do they? I thought the B660 Steel Legend looked good as well. I almost bought it. I almost bought it. But I felt like you guys would have ate me alive for the 12600K and B660 combo. So I didn't. I thought it looked fine. Do you have a video on it for my personal build? Uh, not really. If you look at my recent $2,000 build guide, it's basically that. But I put in a after the after the video was done, I put I replaced the 3070 Ti, which fun fact is the 3070 Ti we're using in this build here. I replaced that with my 3080 Founders Edition, and then I also replaced the RAM. The RAM in that video was this RAM here, this 2x16 gigabyte kit, and instead I used some all white Corsair Vengeance or Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB sticks. I think those that kit looks much better than this. Uh, just this one PC. If you're asking because of how slow this is going, yeah, I definitely like have been streaming long enough. Where'd that screw go? I think it fell on the back. Um, oh no, it's right there. Um, I've definitely been streaming long enough to build at least like five PCs by now. Uh, Demon with the tier one sub, come back for 23 months in a row, one month away from rocking the platinum ZTT badge. What's that, Demon Mint? This is gonna be a good looking build, man. I'm excited for this. <coughs> Those white builds look so sexy. Yeah, this is gonna, this is. This is going to be a good one, man. This is going to be a real good one. And we got the vertical, vertically mounted 3070 Ti as well. The only reason... I haven't talked about this yet. The only reason we're vertically mounting the 3070 Ti is because the, the side profile of the Founders Edition card is all black. Where the... Or the, 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 the front profile, if you vertically... Mount it is all black where the side normal profile, if you horizontally mount it, is more silver. Um, and it would have looked fine in this build, but I figured this was a good excuse. I think it'll look a little bit cleaner vertically mounted instead. Okay. All right. Are, is that all of them? I didn't miss a screw. Yeah, I missed one. There we go. They look good. They just have a budget. When making the B660s, the other ones have integrated IO shields. The huge heat sinks, though. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I remember almost buying the um, the B660 Steel Legend. So one thing that I'm, I'm finding really interesting about this design is we have, we're have we going to put the, the three 120 millimeter fans here, and the cables are going to come out of this slanted design with, with the, the grommets here, I think that'll look really, really cool coming from, see how from the front profile, you don't even see them. I think that'll be really cool for the, the cable extension, but I don't like the extra long route for like SATA cables or the USB 3.0 connector. Thankfully, we have a second USB 3.0 connector at the bottom. I'll use it for that. I wouldn't like the extra length that the cable will be visible from this grommet to like the 3.0 connector over here, or if you had some uh, SATA data cables over there, I, I don't think that will look good. Just as a little side note, but I do think it'll look really dope for the uh, the cable extensions. Okay, so let's get our uh, B pan with a hundred biddies. We are balling, baby. Thank you very much for the. For getting us going here, I, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get us ball in here. I'm trying, man. I'm doing my best. Oh, we have a USB C connector as well. Thank you very much for those hundred biddies. How much is the case? I don't know. They actually didn't tell me what the MSRP is, and despite the embargo dropping today, I don't think it's actually for sale today. Um, I don't think it's on Newegg or Amazon just yet, so I actually don't know what the what the price is. That was the USB 3.0 cable. Now we got some 
HD audio action coming up here. And again, I'll always complain about this with any high-end case. It doesn't make sense at all. Fantex, you are not immune to this criticism. Any high-end case should, in 2022, be using all black cables for your case motherboard connectors. It doesn't make any sense why you're cheaping out and using the stupid multicolor ketchup and mustard and blue and green connectors for things like HD audio. It doesn't make sense. Spend the extra four cents or however much it costs to make it all black cables because this is a very visible cable. At the bottom of your motherboard, you can see in your build that you have these ugly cables. It doesn't make any sense. I hate that. Not, like This isn't unique to Fantex. Most high-end cases are still messing this up. You, we do occasionally see some good ones that use all black cables everywhere. Um, and ever since I started seeing that, I started criticizing the ones that don't do that. It's really annoying, especially with high-end high cases. I hate it. So I'm going to start calling people out for it. Because if I don't, who else will? <laughs> yeah, Corsair did the same thing. With their 5000T, which is a $400 case, they were doing the same thing. It just doesn't make any sense. Painful to Tembody says, I don't like the rubber grommet placing compared to the 24-pin spot on the motherboard. Yeah, it, it, it's not, it's not going to be perfect. I, I, I usually don't hate the angled look of that. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. I usually don't mind it, though. All right, just plugging in these um, these cables down here. Reset switch. HDD light. And power. Power switch. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. And then we do have to route up a USB-C cable as well get out of here with that yeah i mean there's just not the, all it is honestly all it is i think correct me if i'm wrong but all i think the issue is is p just there's not enough people talking about it so i'll use my platform to stand up for it i just i just don't think enough people are complaining about it but when you're putting together a multi-thousand dollar gaming pc and you're using a multi-hundred dollar case, which again, I don't know how much this case costs, but I, I know it's not a uh, not a budget case. Um, they really should just be, be spending the extra probably single digit cents, or even if it's a dollar, it would still be worth it um, to make the, the colors all black. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so here's where we're gonna see the first of this angle. This is actually a little awkward to do. Um, is that the right connector? Yeah. Or a grommet. Um, so again, with this angle grommet look here, it's going to cause a little bit extra of a run distance for these cables on the side here. And with our USB-C connector, let's see what it looks like. Is that connected? No, that didn't feel right. Oh, and if you're looking at my bald spot, Keeps has indeed reached out to me, or my agent, and they are in the process of locking a deal down with Keeps. Figured you guys should know about that. Okay, uh, so, so there it is. It doesn't look terrible, especially since the build is not all white. It's white and black. Um, but it is again a little bit extra of a cable run. I don't I don't hate it. Um, just something to note. All right, so all of our connectors are plugged in. I'm not going to use the RGB connections for our case because we should have a yeah we have an RGB button on the case and we can just plug in SATA power and control the RGBs through that way and. I see the daisy chain connector on here. Hopefully, we can just daisy chain all of the RGBs from both the radiator halo 
uh, covers and the three RGB fans that we're going to use. Hopefully, we can daisy chain them all together. There's definitely a chance that we can't. Um, but, yeah, then we can just control them via via the button. But, okay, that's it. So now it's time to get our power supply, which is going to be mounted like this. And there is a, a side vent on the rear panel. That way our... Do I have to remove that? No. That way our graphics card is getting uh, fresh air from the rear of the case. So no need to worry about that. Um, it's probably going to be easier if I remove this rear panel for now. I don't think we need it for anything. This is the Neo Cube 2 Demon Mitt. It was just launched today. So I don't know how much it costs. The embargo drop was literally today. But they did not tell me what the MSRP was. Uh, I don't think we need this at all, actually. I don't think we need this. You would be able to s install some hard drives in here, uh, which is cool. It would be up here at the top, but I don't think we need that at all, actually. You can just remove that, make the build uh, weigh a little bit less. Seems fine to me. Okay, let's get some screws here for that. <clears throat> it's probably like 160. Yeah, I would guess around 150-ish. I'm actually surprised you don't have 90-degree adapters for USB 3 and USB-C, considering you're the god of aesthetics. Uh, I do, actually. They're at the studio, but I haven't felt the need for them. It's $180. Fantex has it on their website. Wow. Hundred and eighty dollars. I mean, it's a good looking case. Like, I, I I would make the argument that this looks better than uh double the price five thousand T. You know, I like the aesthetic of this one uh, more. It's not as functional, but I like it. I really like the design of this one. One thing I do like is they put white cable ports. It's really cool that they do that. It never affects me because I'm always using extensions, but it is really cool that they use white connectors on their white power supplies. Yeah, you don't see that. All right, our power supply is mounted. So let's start and, and look, like this is some seriously deep dual chamber design. Look how thick this area, look, I, look, four finger, more than four finger deep here. <laughs> we are not cable managing this build at all, ladies and gentlemen. You can just throw all of the cables back here. I do need to find my, where'd my SATA, SATA cable go? Oh, no way. I think I can pull it out. There we go. Dual chamber cases like this are designed for people like me. Absolutely. Look. We have our SATA power cable here. Uh, we'll put it right there. That looks good. <laughs> this is going to be obnoxious. We'll feed our 24 pin out this way. We'll feed our eight pin out. Oh, um, probably this way through the non grommet one. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here's our eight pin getting plugged in just like that. Uh, if you ever see the extra. 8-pin or 4-pin on the motherboard for those beginners out there. How many people – let's take a quick break. How many people have literally never built a PC before? Type a 1 in chat if you've never, ever built a PC before. Just so I know how many uh, beginners we're working with. 
Painful the 10 bitty says 24 pin. Top, I, I'm going top. I'm going top. If it's ever angled like this, I, I, I like the top look better. I, we're asking about since most cases they have the grommet connected for the 24 pin. It's either like it's usually like directly beside or you can adjust it. So it's directly beside the 24 pin on the motherboard. But for this one, it's either above or below it. Whenever you have a situation like this, I think above it looks better. It, the, the cable like kind of looping down. A little bit. I think that look, looks better than looping up. I have I have gone back and forth on on builds though before, thinking that this looks better, and it ends up not. Um, but we'll, all we can do is see. Although we definitely need to adjust these cable combs, because again, this is a super long run. And actually, before we even go farther into this, I'm gonna add a third cable comb before I try to contemplate and convince myself that we only need two. Again, this this style of angled case is just a longer run than normal. So I I, I want to get a third cable comb on here before we before we proceed. Okay, a lot of ones. Yeah, a lot of beginners here. Okay. One waiting on the GPU. Nice. Well, hopefully you get that soon because that shouldn't really be an excuse anymore. Unless if you live in a country where it still is an excuse. Here in the United States, no reason to wait. <laughs> the GPU shortage is long, long gone. Wow, I that was not a good install of this. Hey, I'm just tuning in. The build looks amazing, but what's the budget? Uh, this was around, it, it, it would be around $2,000. A lot of these parts today were sent to me. Um, I'm personally at around $600 into it. Uh, but if you were to copy this build yourself, it'd be around two thousand dollars of all new parts. I hate the black and white extensions, so I bought white with black connectors. Yeah, white extensions look great too. Um, if I have a if I have a situation like this where a lot of the components have black on them, like it's still a mostly white build, but a lot of the components have black, I don't fight it. I just kind of embrace it. Like our motherboard, like if you're using a white NZXT motherboard where it's legitimately almost all white, you can get away with white cable extensions. But for a build like this with a black front panel, our motherboard is actually mostly black with some white and silver accents and whatnot. Our graphics card is all black. Um, the build isn't a white build. It's a white and black build. So I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to use white and black extensions because I think that looks better than using all white and pretending that it's a white build. Okay. And, and I mean, look how good that looks. Whew! That's clean. That's as, I don't know what's going on with this USB-C connector, though. I don't know why this isn't going in here. It doesn't feel right. I don't know if it's the motherboard port or the actual cable. It doesn't feel right. There we go. Needed a, a needed a little finesse on there. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I mean that 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 that's looking with this here and that there. That is looking ultra omega clean. That's very nice. All right. And the last thing we want to do for cables. Again, we can just like literally let all of that sit there. We don't need to cable manage that at all. Um, we gotta feed the twelve pin through. Oh, actually, where is our twelve pin gonna be coming out at? because we're vertically mounting them. Oh, good question. Um, the GPU will be right here. Huh. Where's our tw where's our 24 or our 12 pin going to come out at? If the GPU is right here, it can come out of right here or the bottom and like come behind the graphics card. I'm honestly thinking over here. What do you guys think? Run the USB cable behind the 24 pin um i don't think it looks bad i don't i don't want to route it from all the way up here i don't think it looks bad like that also those neck folds what neck i don't know what a neck fold is what do you mean what is a neck fold showing over the 10 bitties. looks like we're doing some artesian build level cable management thanks ma'am 
Shows up late and then just starts dissing on the bill. Okay. Bottom hole, you think? Middle grommet? <laughs> I'm thinking bottom. And it's already there. We'll go bottom. We'll switch it up if we don't like the look of it. We'll switch it up. Yeah, if it comes from the bottom, you won't see it. You won't see it behind the graphics card. But it will be, like, nice and vertical. Like, Or no, it won't. It's still going to be from the... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. That's why we test things. Okay. All right. That's all connected. Let's get our AIO. Let's get our AIO installed before we... Before we do the, the GPU action. All right. Here we go. Again, Fantech sent this out for us. We have all of our fan connections on the back here. Now, we do want to plug in beforehand we want to figure out how we're doing these cables we want to this is the daisy chain cable that's going to be connecting to the rgb products of the case so we want to untie that that way we have a lot of oh no that's not going to give us a lot of routing oh yikes okay we'll see what we'll see how that turns out um but we do want to plug in our all of these fans are daisy chained together. We want to plug that into the motherboard first, although we aren't going to be pressed for space in a case like this. Sometimes with a radiator, you really want to make sure you're plugging in everything ahead of time because once the radiator is installed, you don't have room to install everything else. But since this case is so massive up at the top here, even after this radiator is installed, we will we still have full access it literally doesn't cover the motherboard at all which is pretty wild you don't see this too often um but yeah our radiator will be installed like this you still have complete you there's still even a gap here which is pretty pretty crazy that is a lot of room up top there so let's start um i did not save screws for that i gotta go hunt those down Can't forget radiator screws. Those are that. <clears throat> Thirty seventy Ti with sixteen pins. Never see it. Well, it's a twelve pin. It's not a sixteen pin. Um, but yeah, it's a Founder's Edition card. All of the Nvidia thir uh, thirty series Founder's Edition cards have these stupid new twelve pin. Designs. I'll, I'll show it to you whenever we, whenever we get to it. I, I'm not a fan of it aesthetically. It kind of ruins the build, to be honest. Well, not ruins it, but <laughs> it's very annoying. Uh, okay, so it looks like we have to uninstall this top panel completely off of our case, which is just a panel like this, so we can mount our AIO to the case. So for a huge radiator like this, I'm just going to start installing one corner and then install another corner and get all of our cables lined up and whatnot before we start like really tightening this thing down. Just kind of get everything into place here. Like so. So that's what it's going to look like. Now we can start just kind of tucking away. Now, there is kind of a downfall with having this much room for the radiator is these cables aren't, like, easily tucking back here because there's so much room for them to hang down. But there we go. That's an unexpected small problem. What's the best tool you have ever used to build a PC? Well, that's an easy question. Type in exclamation point wow stick. Or exclamation point screwdriver. Uh, I think I have it here. I'm not sure if it's here or at the top. Here it is. This is the best tool ever. This is called the wow stick. Exclamation point screwdriver. 
powered little screwdriver here with a flashlight. Uh, if you guys are new here, the exclusives, they actually bought this for me. This was a gift from the exclusives to me. Um, it's really good for things like motherboard screws or SSD screws. Came with a whole bunch of removable bits as well. Um, but it's not good for anything that requires torque. So like fans, radiators, things like this. If you get a, if you get apply some muscle to it, something like the wow stick isn't good enough, which is why I haven't been using it just because it's, it's only good for one thing. Um, but it's still extremely satisfying and fun to use. I would highly recommend it. Yeah. The, the torque is not good. And I don't think that's unique to like the brand wow stick. Any super slim design screwdriver like that, it's just not going to have the, the power you need for, like, the tough screws, I don't think. Okay. Um, all right, that should be enough. All right, there we go. So our radiator is now installed before i install this i want to take care of the cables in the back that we just did real quickly just so we don't lose too much focus on the end prize here now we have this rgb connector which i have enough room to route up through here this is what I think we're hopefully going to be able to daisy chain to the case. I hope. Okay. Um, maybe we should do something with all these cables. This is getting a little obnoxious. Um, I don't think this needs anything more than like a big twist tie. Like a big twist tie here would be great. Just to keep that bundle together. I think we have one from the power supply. Yeah. We'll do that real quick. <clears throat> that should be good enough. Uh, 10 series lasted for a while. How long do you think the thir uh, 30 series will be relevant? Um, that's a good question. Well, I would argue that the, ni the 9 series is still relevant. Like the 970 and 980, those are still very relevant graphics cards for budget budget builds. Um, 10 series, yeah, those are, of course, still relevant. Um, I think the 3000 series is actually going to be super relevant for a very long time. Because almost everybody has them. Yeah, this will actually connect. Nice. Okay. So our AIO is daisy-chained. Or, wait, shit. We still got to do our actual, the pump. Okay, let's see what that looks like. The fans on the radiator are daisy chained to the case, but I don't know what this is going to look like. Um, yeah, I think 3000 series is going to be really relevant because a lot of people are going to hang on to their 3000 series cards for a while. Just because of the shortage, how long it took to get them, how much they overpaid for them. They're going to like hang on for dear life. They're, they're not going to want to upgrade anytime soon. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see them sprinkle once like 5,000 series comes out or the 50 series comes out, you know? Um, so yeah, I think, I, th I think I, I haven't really thought about it until right now, but I do think, yeah, they're going to be relevant for a really long time. Longer than normal, I would say. Okay. I always forget how these Fantech AIOs line up. Um, how does this work? I always forget. Is this a slide? No, I'm not doing that right. Hmm. It's been a while since I've used the, actually it's only been like a month, but 
How does this work? I forget. Do I install the... Hmm. I actually completely am drawing a blank on this. Do I install just the pump first and then install the this top shield? This doesn't look right. I'm like doing something like a mega wrong on this. I don't want to mess up our thermal paste either. Yeah, I think we install this first. Okay, this does have the pre-installed thermal paste, so we're just going to use that. Like so. We'll just hand tight them. Hand tighten them for now. We'll make sure we get... Oops. Shoot. We'll make sure that we uh, apply even pressure. This concept applies to pretty much any CPU cooler that you'll ever install. Instead of uh, like just cinching down on... The tension on one corner, you never want to do that. You want to like evenly, slowly apply pressure throughout the throughout the cooler, and then you can start tightening them, tightening them down. Big face palm, yeah. I'm I'm like completely drawing a blank on how that front cover goes on there. I literally just did it too. But I have confidence we will figure it out. Would a 12100F and 6600 be good enough for 1080p, 144? Uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on the game. You're not going to get the 144 on every single title you throw at it. Um, I would aim for like a, uh, maybe the XT or the 6650 XT. Uh, but for, for a lot of games, yeah, yeah, you'll get there. It just depends. Your settings and games. Bad. Okay. All right, now we just want to fully tighten this down. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then we can install the fan pump to the motherboard. And then hopefully, maybe we can just hide this black cable down here. It'll be kind of camouflaged with the, the black motherboard. Yep, you can't see that at all. There we go. Okay, now we got to revisit this. I remember this being easy, but I can't remember what I'm doing. I feel like this is different. It definitely has to be this way because this notch is to hide the cables. Oh, okay. That was super easy. Okay. I was doing that way wrong. Okay. Yeah, that, that just, it didn't feel right without the, uh, without the AIO being installed, like doing it while I was holding it just felt weird. But once it's installed on the motherboard, it all makes sense. <laughs> tubes, tubes look wonky. Well, I mean, they're not, like, perfectly positioned yet. Now, the the cool thing about what Fantex does with their AIOs is they include – I haven't even shown you guys this. They include the adapters – or not adapters, but the, the cable organizers here. So you can – they're black, though. But you can keep the spacing of the AIO tubes the same. And now that I'm looking at it, actually – the they are a little bit like bent where it does look a little wonky, but I don't, I haven't really ever seen it. Oh, wow. I cut myself. Um, I haven't really seen a, a build like successfully pull off the aesthetic of these. I actually don't really like it. When did I cut myself? It feels recent. I definitely don't want to get blood in a white and black build. That would be, that would be very, very bad. What do you guys think? Do you guys usually use the AIO organizers or no? Yeah, wow, that blood is coming out. We're going to have to get a Band-Aid. I don't even know when that happened. Okay. All right. Now those are all daisy chain. So, so far, 
all of the RGB stuff is 100% good to go, but we'd have to install the the three pins or the 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 three fans still. Not on white tubes. Are you talking about my blood or the uh, the tube bracket things? <sighs> it just rests on there. What rests on there? Yeah, it, it's it, it's magnetic. The AIO. Yeah, wow, I gotta go get a band-aid. I'm, I'm gushing blood here. Um, this connector, or not connector, the 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 top of the the pump, it's magnetic. So you can easily just pull it off here. It, it, it's not going anywhere. I wouldn't be able to pick up the bill with it, but that, that magnet's pretty strong. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a band-aid real quick. That way we're not bleeding all over this thing. Sorry that took so long. I was having a... Oh my god, this blood isn't stopping. We're going to have to apply some pressure here. I was having a band-aid crisis. I couldn't find any big people band-aids. I could only find the Sesame Street band-aids. So we're going to be going with a bird. Big bird? Big bird band-aid here? As soon as I get the... I, I don't know if I'm going to have to get the tourniquet out or what. I'm building my first PC soon. How is it? How is it for the first time? Uh, I'm not a good person to answer that, man. I built my first PC when I was five, which was two, 25 years ago. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but I have to imagine it's not that bad these days with all the YouTube videos that you can watch, all the resources you have available to you. You should not be building your first PC with any question of how it's going to go. You should watch enough videos that you, other than like actually feeling it for yourself, the first time you like in, uh, apply that latch down on the motherboard, especially Intel 12th gen, you have to apply a significantly awkward amount of pressure to close that latch. Um, like when you do that for the first time, that'll be weird. Um, like plugging in some connectors, like, Plugging in RAM sticks, like that might feel a little weird, like you're applying too much pressure and whatnot. But for the most part, you should have already done enough research that nothing is, nothing's uh, questionable, you know. Do enough research before you build that first one. 
How did you get into PC? Yeah. So my parents, they had a PC building business that they ran out of their, out of the basement of our house. It was legitimately a PC repair and consulting business, which was like, a, which is AKA like literally exactly what I do is PC building and consulting, but they just did it in the pre internet way before social media. They were doing it like right when the internet came out in the nineties. Um, so I'm essentially just doing what they were doing, but the, the social media version of it. All right, here we go. We got some big bird action looking pretty clean, pretty solid here. 10 out of 10 bandaid. I don't know how long that's going to hold up though. I can't imagine that that's, this is a super rugged, rugged bandaid, but we're going to have to press on, but we're also, we're going to drink another beer, man. I only have one beer, but you had that shot, which messed everything up. Um, but we're still only one beer into this live stream. And since I don't have to play basketball tomorrow, I can afford to chill with you guys. Even when the build's over, we'll relax, you know, answer some questions, do what we got to do, you know, but we can make this a super chill, super chill live stream. We're not in a hurry tonight. Tell me he doesn't look like Nick Bosa. So are you talking about the the NFL player, Nick Bosa? No, I don't look anything like him at all. What people would always say, uh, like when I first started my YouTube channel, was I look like, uh, who's the guy? Oh, well, I don't even know what his name is. He w He's an actor, the, the prison break actor. But now they would say this when I was in the military before I had facial hair. And before I had like slightly longer hair, they always, what, I don't know what the prison break guy's name is, but everybody, I would, I would get comments on every single video back when I was military Zach, uh, without the facial hair. They always said, I look like this dude, but I don't remember what his name is, but I don't think anyone has said that since I've grown facial hair. Livid says I'm only two hours late, Zach. That's not, the, that's not bad. That's not too bad. Okay. So. What do we want to do now? Let's finish up this AIO real quickly. Can we get away with the cables here? Do you guys think we need the... I think that looks fine, actually. Once that starts to settle and adjust, I think those cables look fine without using the... Without using these. I don't think we need that. Zach Love from Dubai? What's up, man? I've been to Dubai. I've, I was in Dubai in 2018, I think, 2018, on a military deployment. I was there. Pretty, pretty wild, wild city. Uh, okay, yeah. Let, let's install these. Let's install the fans now. So, do we have some experts here? Is Painful still here? Fantex sent over three of these 120 mil RGB fans. Are we still in agreement of? setting these up as exhaust fans and not having any intake fans. What do you guys think? We could either set these up as intake or exhaust. And what some people were saying ahead of time was set these up as exhaust for a negative air pressure setup, which I don't know if I've ever done before, maybe, a, maybe years ago. What do you guys think? Pantera says intake. So this is where they're going to go. They would go like this. Or actually, we could install them this way. Or no, we probably want them on this side. Yeah, we want them on this side. Clutch Master with another $10 super chat says, I am officially forever a follow of you. The first day, thank you for all your knowledge. Helping out noobs like me, I can't thank you enough. Cheers to you, the fam, and all the great things in life. Dude, my man. Glad you're having a good time here. Thank you very much. I, re I really mean that. Appreciate the, the big time financial support that keeps the, the Thirsty Thursdays going, man. Right back at you. Thank you. Exhaust on the side. I like intake. I, I, I think intake might be the, might be the play. Um, we intake through the side, we exhaust up the top. 
it'll get a little wonky with the vertically mounted GPU. But I don't think anyone's going to be able to convince me that we shouldn't do that, to be honest. Um, now, we probably don't want to install it like this, though. We probably want to install them like this. That way we can see the fans from the front. Let me see what that looks like real quick. So, the fans would be installed like this. This is what they would look like. Does that look right? Or should we... Do we install them like this on this side? Or do we do it like this? Oh, maybe we do do it like that. Actually, I think we are going to do it like that. I think that looks better. Yeah, I think that looks cleaner. The only problem is... Am I going to be able to get to the top one? Yeah, I'll be able to get to that. Yeah, I think we do it like this. Intake fans on the back side... That way it's closer to the, the side panel as well. I think that's the play, guys. I think that's the play. What do you guys think? Are we on a inside exhaust? That's the exact opposite. You're saying like this? That's probably the best looking way. But I just don't like the... I don't know, man. I don't like the negative airflow, airflow setup. No intake fans. Like, I, I know that's a thing, but I, I'm not smart enough to be able to defend that, defend that reasoning. Do it on the inside. Looks better, but bad performance. Bottom intake. You think this should be like that? I think this looks cleaner on the outside. Uh, well, you can make the argument that the RGB gets a little bit chopped off like this. If we have it like this, then like on this side, the RGB design gets a little chopped off. So if it's like this, then you would actually see the full, the full fan there. Yeah, like... I know that's how it works, Mark. It, 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 if all of these fans are set to exhaust, then it's essentially going to be still pooling air somewhere from the case. But it's going to pull it from both the back and the bottom. And I don't know, like, does it pull it? I don't know. I'm just not super confident in that. Pantera? Well, Pantera is saying intake, and he has the O11. Yeah, this is the same exact setup as the O11. You're saying go intake? If, if they're all set to exhaust, then it's just going to naturally pull air from wherever the vents are. You know, it's even going to pull air from here. Um, just because we're not forcing any air into the case, we're only forcing air out of the case. But if we set these to intake then it's just going to naturally intake from here and exhaust out the top, which is a, a more typical setup. Pantera, are you saying to you set these as intake? I'm aware that both work. But I need to be able to defend my position. And right now I'm leaning intake. Intake? Yeah, I just... People are going to question it. You know, I post this build everywhere when we sell it, when I post on Instagram and TikToks and whatnot, and I just want to be able to, like, confidently explain it to somebody. Um, and I don't really like the concept of not having any intake fans, even though I'm, I'm aware that it is a concept, but I don't know, man. I'm going to go intake. I'm more worried about the AIO tube brackets. <laughs> well, the good thing is we can always install those. When the build is done, we can still make that decision if we want to. <laughs> Thank you for voicing that opinion, though. I have intake side and bottom on an 011, and AIO is the top exhaust with a vertical GPU. I'm going to go intake. I'm going to go intake. The thing is, I'm 100% sure that the intake idea is fine. I'm not 100% sure. 
on the exhaust idea. We're going to go intake. We're going to get our screws here. We're going to go intake, and we'll do them how you guys suggested. We'll do the fan set up like this. That way you can see the full, the full fan from the front of the case. And despite the, the cable routing being a little bit less optimized, we'll make sure that the Fantex logo is um, straight up and down for all three fans. That way nobody argues about that. Yeah, it's going to look nice either way. Like, th th this is – the make no mistake. Like, for all the new people, which we know that there's a lot, this is very much nitpicking. You would be perfectly fine in either setup, just to be clear. This is not – this is not a decision where you're going to make or break your your build. This is not a decision where you're going to make or break not even 10 FPS. We'll be perfectly fine. This is purely just nitpicking. Yeah. Yeah, BPN says I don't think temps will be affected. They're not. They're not. People completely over overreact to decisions like this, and I'm doing the same thing, but... Definitely um, is not a big deal at all. Santiago says, good evening, Zach, over on YouTube. Do you have any B-Stock PSUs for sale? I don't sell any parts. I haven't sold a part in years. You had a whole wall of them? Yeah, I mean, I don't sell parts, though. Every part I buy goes in a build. Uh, no, I, I like the aesthetic of the back of them. The aesthetic of the back of these fans looks good for a build. Like black and silver. I, I like that. I think that actually looks super clean. No, I, I'm down to use that. I don't think we need any vinyl for that. Zach, I think it's time for another crown vanilla shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> the only reason we're three hours into this live stream and it's not done yet is because of that crown vanilla shot. It's literally the only reason. Otherwise, we would be way done, though. No. That might be the worst idea I've heard tonight. <laughs> I wish we had... Uh, extra three fans at the base for the yeah if we had three fans for the bottom that would make things much easier actually it wouldn't it wouldn't make it easier because when you have those three intake fans then you could still make the argument for exhaust or intake and I'm pretty sure with the 011 somebody did testing where you had three intake at the bottom three exhaust at the top and then they were testing intake versus exhaust for the side and i'm pretty sure the exhaust actually performed better again not a big deal like not a huge difference but i'm pretty sure i saw that the exhaust won so that actually wouldn't make this setup any easier <laughs> zach one crown shot in pantera handful of jameson shots <laughs> nice i'm gonna be drinking a good amount this weekend we got the one-year-old birthday party on Saturday. Of course, we got a ton of people coming to that. Oh, my God, we have so many people coming. Th this will be the biggest party we've ever hosted, I think, for a one-year-old birthday party. It's not really for a one-year-old party. It's, it's mostly just an excuse to get all the adults together that have kids. <laughs> we'll be drinking during that. Not, not a lot during that, but we have family coming from out of town, uh, spending the night and whatnot. Staying in town for the weekend, so we'll be drinking for that. And then my <clears throat> my wife's mom is staying with us for like over a week. Uh, starting with the birthday party, she comes, she flies in tomorrow, and her and I always have like a beer at night uh, together. We'll we'll like watch a movie, have a beer or two, and so I'll be drinking a good amount. Not not like a good amount at any one point. Like no. No getting wasted at night or anything. But I'll be having beer like almost every night for a good bit, I think. <laughs> Vlog it. I'll definitely be taking some pictures. Our backyard is going to look nuts. 
I don't, I don't think I don't think we've ever hosted this many people. There's there's probably if everyone's here at the same time. I mean, there's over there's going to be over thirty people here. Our our parties are usually at like the the ten to twenty range. We don't usually have big parties, but um, there's going to be a lot of people at this one. What's up, Giga? How you doing, man? What's the cheapest AMD or Intel CPU that wouldn't bottleneck a 3070? Um, good question. The absolute cheapest? I would guess a 3600 if you can get it at a good price. 3600s tend. This is off my head. This is off the top of my head. I have no idea. Um, 3600s tend to be overpriced, but we are seeing better and better deals on them. I would guess a 3600 has the most potential for the cheapest CPU that would bottleneck it. What do you guys think? Any experts uh, agree or disagree on that one? 3800x no that's a terrible suggestion <laughs> what cpu should i use for a 400 dollars pc build that has integrated graphics what cpu should i use is it a new build or a used build if it's a new build you won't be able to afford anything other than a Maybe a 5600G. A $400 5600G build is still pretty tough to do right now. Because that's pretty cheap. What branch were you in the military? Air Force. I was in the Air Force for eight years. Whatever with the 10 biddies. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday, man. He says, been a while since I made it to Thirsty Thursday. I guess it's Thirsty Friday now. Do streams usually go this long? No. Usually I'm playing basketball. At 4 a.m. on Fridays. So the Thirsty Thursday streams have actually been pretty short. But this is the first one in several months where I'm not playing basketball tomorrow. Because we got people coming in from out of town and whatnot. Uh, so we've been taking our time. We took a shot of some Crown earlier. Drinking some beers still late into the night. Uh, and we're working on a pretty complex build at this point. So, yeah, we're just taking our time. I bought a 12900K and a 3080 Ti instead of a 3090 Ti to save $500. Thoughts? I think, think, it's, think that's an excellent idea. <laughs> um, unless if you're making significant amount of money with your PC build, like it's 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 a tool, not not for gaming. If it's just a tool, most people are not going to get their money's worth from upgrading past the 3080 or 3080 Ti. No, no way. Um, so I, I like the move of saving the $500 for sure. My dad was in the medical field for the army. Nice. It's 9.30 a.m. And I just woke up and I'm watching your stream. There we go, man. Thirsty Friday. Let's go. Okay. So now we have the fans installed. We need to figure out the – here's where things could get a little rough. We need to figure out the RGB solution for these fans. I'm not looking forward to this. I don't think – I could be wrong. I don't think all of these RGB products are going to daisy chain. I, I, I really wish Painful was here. I, I doubt we can daisy chain six Fantex fans and the case on one daisy chain. I – I don't know, man. I know NZXT products usually top out around um, five, sometimes four, I've seen. I don't know, man. I don't know what we could do other than let's see what these fans came with. So this is what the build's looking like in the back right now. We, don't, we actually don't have a lot to do here. But uh, we have our... PWM 
and RGB connectors for all three of these fans that we just installed. Now, I do have a PWM four-point ad four adapter that we can use, which would be super easy. Oh, wow. I actually don't need that. Fantex, the, the fan kit came with one. Sick. Okay, so we don't need that. So let, let, let's take care of that first. This is just a three-port PWM uh, splitter, which for you uh, beginners out there, all of these fans come with a four-port PWM connector, meaning you have to plug that into your motherboard so you can control the RPMs and just give the fan power. But fan kits like this sometimes come with, or you can buy your own adapters like this where I can essentially just daisy chain all three of these fans with this black connector into one single PWM connector. Now I can save a ton of like motherboard connections by just plugging in this one into the motherboard. Now high end motherboards like this, you actually don't need to do something like this because they have a proper amount of uh, fan connections. I could, I could co connect all these individually if I wanted to just because the, our motherboard has enough um, PWM connectors on it. But to save time, to save space, to save aesthetics on the front, you don't want all those connectors coming in. So you, you should just use the, the splitter anyway. One connection, all three of those are done. But now where the potential issue is the RGB, which I still don't know what the solution is yet for this. Our infinity mirror came off. We'll deal with that later. <coughs> Depends on how many LEDs are in each part. Well, yeah, I don't have that info. Does the Air Force have any esports team? Um, I have no idea. Good question. I have no idea. Uh, both my parents were in the Marines. Wow. Sounds like you got some pretty hardcore parents. I'm sure that was a very interesting childhood. Do you have any advice for small tech channels? I do somewhat uh, similar stuff on my channel. I build and sell PCs, product reviews, tech advice. You get it. But yeah, any advice? Uh, make searchable content. If you have a small channel, you cannot get away with any type of video that's about you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody's on the edge of their seat. Like, you can't get away with those videos that are, like, personal, vloggy, or any of that stuff. Make only searchable content uh, until you get a little bit bigger. Like, people are searching for $500 bill guides. Do that. $1,000 bill guides. Do that. Best XYZ under XYZ price. You know, stuff like that. You got to do searchable, searchable content. That's the only way. It's a very it's a very simple concept, but most people, including myself, uh, do not understand that for years. The front of that case is actually one of the cleanest. It's gonna look super clean. If you haven't ever seen the infinity mirror design, it's actually gonna look pretty sick. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is we're going to attempt to daisy chain this entire mofo together. I, I, I think that's the play. Let's just see if that works. So I'm concerned because we already have the case's RGB connection daisy chained to the three RGB halo fans on the radiator. I'm going to add three more to that daisy chain, which would be seven total products. There's a good chance that that doesn't work, but I have no idea without testing it. That's not like easy knowledge that you, you just know. Okay. So this is from the radiator. So I'm going to connect that to the top fan. And then this top fan is going to daisy chain the RGB connection to the second fan. And the second fan is going to daisy chain down to the third fan. And then on the third fan is going to connect to the case. So all of these Fantech 
RGB connections are all daisy chained together. And with our dual channel or uh, dual chamber case, cable management back here literally doesn't matter at all. <laughs> um, so we're good to go on that. So now the only thing we actually have left is the vertical mount of the graphics card, if this all works. So let's start. Let's start working on that bad boy. Show the Band-Aid. So far, so good. The Big Bird Band-Aid is still holding up well. I don't see any blood in here. It's looking pretty solid. Hey, Zach, what music do you use for Twitch and YouTube? It's a combination of uh, Stream Beats, which is completely free, copyright-free music from Harris Heller, and uh, music that we pay for on Epidemic Sound. We have an Epidemic Sound subscription, so we don't get... It, it, it's copyrighted music, but we have the rights to it. Um, it's, it's a combination. It's a custom playlist. All these songs I actually hand-selected for background streaming music. It's mostly epidemic sound, but there's some stream beats music on here. Big Bird, let's go. Yeah, I mean, I was heavily debating about Big Bird or Cookie Monster, but since my son loves Cookie Monster, I figured I'd save that for him. So I'll, t I'll take one for the team and I'll use Big Bird. I think Big Bird might've been a lower performing option here, but we'll see. Okay, so this part I actually did pay for myself. I don't often pay for Fantex products, but when I do, they're worth it. This is the Fantex PCIe Gen 4 vertical GPU bracket. This costs $70 right now. It is not cheap. But what this is going to allow us to do is vertically mount our RTX 3070. So the reason why I wanted to vertically mount it... Again, I'm, I'm talking to a lot of the, the beginners here. Yes, I do have a PCIe 4 riser cable. It comes with it. That's why it costs so much. So this is the, the graphics card here. From the side profile, it's a little awkward. It would be fine. But this build is all white, black, or silver. And the side profile of this graphics card is not actually silver. It's like a... I, I don't know how you describe it. it like a light gunmetal. It's like a shiny gray. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's not silver. You know, it's very different than like, look at the color of this compared to this or the color of this to the color of this. I know the camera's not really helping, but it, it just, it just doesn't look right like that. You know? So what I thought is we could vertically mount it because the, the front profile of the graphics card is all black. So this fits, and when I'm looking at it here, I'm confirming it. This looks much better, in my opinion. Do you guys all agree? Yeah, gunmetal? Yeah. Do you guys all agree? This looks much better? It's just all black. So I think that's going to be worth the extra $70 aesthetically. But in order to vertically mount a GPU like this, you need two things. You need a PCIe bracket, or a P, I'm sorry, a PCIe riser cable, which extends your PCIe bracket extension down to here, where we're going to be vertically mounting it. And then you also need some sort of contraption that lets you physically mount the graphics card vertically, because like these brackets here are only made for horizontally mounting. So this Fantex PCIe Gem 4 kit has both. That's why it costs so much money. Agreed. What have you done to those poor fins? What are you talking about? What fins? What are you talking about? Oh, right here? Wow, I don't know. Are you talking about this one? <laughs> you can only see it in the right light. Like, you can't see it at all here. Are you talking about this? I don't know, man. I've never noticed that. Oh, they just bend back. Oh, they just bend back. That's that's not bad. Andy with the 85 bitty says, I'm extremely late, but hey, what's up, Andy? Thank you very much for tuning in. Almost fixed it. 
Again, I would never have noticed that. There's a couple like that? No, there's not. It's just this one. Don't overreact. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if we did that or... NZXT sent me this. And I, I have reason to believe it was used before this. Yeah, you, you can only see it in the exact right light. Okay, I think it's better. Yeah, I don't know. I think they did send me a used 3070 Ti. I don't think it was sealed when they sent this to me. All right. So this is what the riser cable looks like. It's just the X16, which is like the graphics card connector. That can just plug directly into the motherboard like this. And now we have a different port of where the graphics card will connect to. So the graphics card will basically just connect into this like it connects into the motherboard. But before we plug that in, we got to figure out how this contraption works, which allows us to mount the graphics card to it. Now, I'm not exactly sure which, where we're putting this. So maybe we do want to install this first because we have to uninstall these horizontal brackets to install this contraption. And I've only done this like, I don't know, four, maybe four times at this point. I'm not really sure. I haven't vertically mounted too many graphics cards. So I think it's going to be, yeah. I think it's going to be all but the top one. So let's uninstall this. Yeah, and if you're if you are way late, you can type in exclamation point build or exclamation point parts list. I think we're going to install it right here. I think that'll give us enough height. Like that. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Does anybody have any case recommendations for what we should try next? For Thirsty Thursday, I really want to take advantage of the opportunity to try new cases that I haven't tried before, even if it's not like brand new like this one. If anybody has a unique case idea that they want to see me build inside of, I'm definitely, definitely all ears for that. I want to start, like, I, I don't want to use the same case multiple times on Thirsty Thursday anymore, even if it's like a meta decision. I want to start trying some new stuff out. Uh, Andy with the Twitch Prime sub. Come back for seven months in a row. Super late. Late night resub. Absolutely love it. Thank you, man. All right. So this is going to be like this. Oh, do we need one more? Um. Yeah, we're going to need one more. Someone said DIY PC S08. I don't know which one that is. Is it new? The S08. I don't think I've heard of that one. And I do know my way around a DIY PC case at this point. Okay. There we go. So that's what that's going to look like. And then this is going to go this way. Like this. Now, it should have included screws for us to mount the the riser cable to the bracket here. That it's all just one in one unit here. Um, it also comes with some foam pads that we can install on. Does it come with some with the screws pre-installed? No. Um, Does that matter? So this is going to go like this. Wait, how does that work? Do I need the foam pad? I don't know if I need that. 
<clears throat> no, I haven't used any height cases yet. Uh, I have a rep at height that's been trying to send me something. Uh, I just haven't found a good use for it. Turbo cock is number one. Yeah, but I can't keep using the turbo cock. I, I actually haven't used an 011. But that's such a popular and overused case that like I don't even have a desire to use it at this point. Oh, okay, got it. It's if the bracket touches the bottom of the case, Mark says. Good call. Yeah, we don't have that issue. We're good. Good call. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't make sense with the... Without the pre-installed holes. Zach, I tried building my, or buying my first PC from your website, but they're all sold out. Uh, the next restock is August 1st. It's going to be a huge launch. And again, if you're, if you're a Twitch sub or a YouTube member, a.k.a. an exclusive, I unlock the website to you guys for like a half hour before everybody else. We password protect the website. That way you guys get first crack at it. If you are legitimately trying to buy a build from me on August 1st, um, I would recommend doing that because this launch is going to be huge. They're going to sell Vita Vita Fast. Um, I would definitely recommend getting that subscription right before August 1st. That way you have that access. Okay. All right. So now we want to manipulate this cable a little bit. That way we can get these brackets to install. Like so. Bada bing, bada boom. I want to upgrade from my Optiplex already. I'm actually, I just planned a new Optiplex video for the YouTube channel, uh, literally today. I'm really excited. It's going to be a spray paint job, graphics card, SSD upgrade, you know, all the normal stuff. Very much looking forward to that video. Jonathan talks hardware with the $5 super chat. Says DIYPC SO8BK in Newegg for $46. I just bought it today. And no, it's been on Newegg for a while. Let's check it out real quick. The S08? Where's my iPad? Let's check it out real quick. Take a little break. DIYPC S08. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, that's been around for a while. Uh, I don't think I've used it before. The S08? Yeah, I've definitely seen that before. Sorry. The camera is a little, a little off, but at a good temperature, mind you. There we go. I've definitely seen that before. Yeah. 48 bucks? 52? I wouldn't mind using that. We got the vinyl cutout as well. Doesn't look bad. Which Optiplex are you using for the build? It's a 50... Oh, jeez. Just stepped on something. Oh, the box. Um, it's a 5040, I think. Uh, Intel 6th Gen. I think it's a 5040. It's really nice because for spray painting, I'll be able to completely remove the side panel and the front bezel just completely pops off. And then you could spray paint the whole thing if you wanted to. So you don't have to worry about like taping up everything and whatnot. It'll be a really, really easy spray paint job. Yeah, well, I'll be selling it. Um, that video won't go live for another like two weeks though. So I don't know if that bill will be on the August 1st, <clears throat> the August 1st launch. That'll probably be a uh, September 1st launch. I don't know if we'll get that one out in time. All right, so our vertical bracket is now installed. The riser cable looks good to go. And this is what it looks like from the side. So just kind of replace that. 
hopefully our graphics card just fits right on here like so and it does and we can just remove this top panel first so we can secure the graphics card to the case and then we'll reinstall it Shauna used the SO8 in a community build. Okay, I've, yeah, I've definitely seen that build before, or that uh, that case before. Okay, I just want to secure the the GPU to the vertical bracket like this. This is why I had to uninstall that horizontal bracket first. And boom, there we have that. I don't like that it's sagging, but I don't think we can do anything about it. Does it look like it's sagging? It definitely looks like it's sagging a little bit. It's like bent. I don't love that. Do you guys see that? Let me see what it looks like standing up. <sighs> oh wow, that's sagging way too much. I don't like that at all. I definitely don't like the looks of that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I'm not digging that at all. I don't know if the bracket is bent or what. We're gonna have to investigate. Yeah, that's that's sagging way too much. Some some sag is acceptable, but not on a build like this. Um, the 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 scary part is all the screws are properly lined up. Um, so it's not like I did anything wrong. So I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if this bracket is bent a little bit or what. But yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Oh, I see a different screw to use. Cool. Okay, we should be good. Hopefully, we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, we, we definitely wouldn't allow that. I would horizontally mount it before I did that. There's a different screw hole to use. Okay, hopefully this fixes it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we're good. Gonna get a sag test on this one. Better? There we go. Oh, yeah. Much better. All right. So now that that's done, the GPU is installed. We just gotta do the 12 pin. Better? A lot butter. Now we just gotta plug in our 12 pin cable extension, which is right here. And this build, my friends, is pretty much done though, provided our RGB isn't an issue here. Like so. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Oh my God, I can't believe we're nearing the finish line here. Okay, so let's start doing some tidying up. We need to, we can install that one bracket back. Listo. What's a good budget uh, keyboard? I really like the tech fa uh, tech wear lineup, like the Phantom, the Phantom Low Profile, or just the normal Phantom. Uh, they make multiple versions depending on if you want low profile or, or I'm sorry, uh, full size, ten keyless, etc. I really think tech wear uh, is an underrated budget keyboard manufacturer. I really like their stuff. Like them cables looking good. And if we could see the 24 pin a bit more, 
Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much we can do about that. Mark with the 10 biddies. Don't we have a giveaway to do? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll do the giveaway as soon as we get this all powered up. Yeah, wow. We're close to two giveaways, actually. Okay. I think we can clean all this up. I don't think we need any of this. If this all works, we don't need any of these accessories. Hopefully, it all works. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's plug this bad boy in. Let's uh, install all of these side panels and front panels that got dislodged. And then let's finish this up because uh, Zach is uh, ready to go to sleep. All right. Got it, Mark. <clears throat> all right back panels installed there we go there is our build looking pretty pretty nice we still could revisit i didn't throw these away we still could revisit the aio brackets i'm actually slightly considering it now that i see it um, if we want to get some more organization on the brackets, but let, let's plug this bad boy in and see if the, this RGB solution actually works for us or not. Can't say I'm super hopeful, but we'll see. <sighs> All right, here we go. Where's my buttons? Oh my god. Is everything actually on? Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, we have a build. Those colors are disgusting, but this build actually works. All oh, these reflections are horrible though. You can kind of see the the infinity like it looks really weird <laughs> there we go from the side let's go that looks good all right let's see if the, these if we can actually get a decent color scheme oh okay looking good looks good yeah we're not gonna be able to control the rgbs of the um are they all changing for real Wow, they are. Those are all daisy chained together, including the case. That is wild. Everything works. Fantax, I'm sold. I'm sold. Without even knowing the MSRP, I'm sold. That's wild. All of those are daisy chained to one SATA power connector. Oh, I just hit the power button. My bad. All of that just were oh that was the color scheme I wanted. I think that was it. Oh, that was it again. Can't tell. I gotta look at it. That uh eh. I mean that one looks good, but I don't think that's what I want. Damn, and we got we got uh RGB on the motherboard. Oh my god. Sorry you guys won't see the full picture, but once we match the RGB on the motherboard, like specifically these lights where my finger's pointing, and the RGB is on the RAM, oh my god. This might need to be my personal build. This is ridiculous. Ooh, this is crazy. It looks so good. Oh, and like it looks super clean just from like this profile where you don't see like the side panel the the side fans but then from here oh my god that looks pretty nice i'm not gonna lie i'm actually really happy with how that turned out that looks way better than i thought it would uh poke me on 05 with the twitch prime so going back for two months in a row thank you very much for resubbing on that second month man much appreciated let's go it says build looks amazing thank you blue purple looks sick That looks really, really cool. 
I, I, I really like green. I like how much that like illuminates the build. A lot of these look really, really nice. Blue and white. Blue and white looks pretty sick too. Blue and red. Blue and purple. Dude, that's nice. That looks awesome. That looks amazing. Teal looks so so sexy. Blue, purple. Pink looks good. If you put the bracket on for the tubes. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Brackets or no brackets? I'm 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 actually leaning towards we might need to do that. Where did I put them? Oh boy, if I lost them, there's no chance. Are they under here? Yeah. Do we do the brackets? <clears throat> Can you show the infinity mirror to the camera? Yeah. Yeah, all these light reflections are looking a little weird. Sorry. It's a weird design. Like, you can still... I Actually, I've never used an infinity mirror before. You can still kind of see the stuff inside of it. Like, the, like these right here are obviously the, the three intake fans that we have. And then these lights, this one, and then this one, uh, that's the motherboard, the Steel Legend RGBs. Buh. Put them on just to shape it. So these are the brackets right here. What these do is they keep the two tubes together at the same distance. So it comes with three of them. So we could just pop these on. I've, I've literally never chosen to put these on before. In an, on an AIO before. Um, but with a white and black build, might actually be worth it. It's a pretty big gap, though. Like, I would do something like that. Yeah, I don't think I like it. It, it. it adds, like, an unnecessary... It, it looks like a... Like a coral snake with, like, those bands that go around it or like an earthworm with like that one band in the middle of it, right? I don't think I like it. What do you guys think? I don't think I like it. Like I I, I like that it it routes the cables and if we keep it on here for like a day, maybe it'll help shape the cable a little bit. But I don't think I really like the aesthetic. I thought it would look better, yeah. Oh no. Zebra tubes looks cheap. Yeah, I don't really – they're too spread out. That, that That's the problem. If it was white too, that would look cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Why the gap? Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to keep them on here. No, I don't, I'm not going to keep them on here. I'll take them off. I don't really like them. Yeah, we'll take them off. Not a big fan. They need to toss the gap. Yeah, I don't know if all of them do this. I can already tell that that's like significantly helping with the shape of these, especially this top one here. Uh, may may maybe I'll leave them on there like before we sell it. That way it kind of like routes them together because they do kind of like spiral up a little bit. Looks a little funky. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm super happy with this. So let's do a real quick review of the brand new Fantex Cube 2 IM case. Uh, I, I Cases like this are perfectly designed for me. So not only is it super aesthetically pleasing with the infinity mirror up here and just the overall all white aesthetic, uh, the dual chamber design, which allows us to mount the power supply on the rear side of the case rather than the front or top of the case gives us so much room for lack of cable management. If you want to cable manage in this case, have at it. We also have the two vents on the side here, but you absolutely 
do not need to cable manage in a case like this. There is so much depth behind the motherboard here that I literally didn't use a single a single zip tie in here at all. You can just casually hide all of the cables back here. Still looks perfectly clean on the front, and um, I love these dual chamber style of cases. So I don't really know how much this um, case costs, but I would I would imagine it's going to be like 150 to 180, like we've been talking about. I think it's worth it. If you're putting together a high-end system like this, it's got all the radiator support you need at the front and the top. You will have to make some decisions on your fan configuration. How? Because instead of the, the front-mounted fans, you have the side-mounted fans. You could go rear or exhaust with that. There's definitely a some good value if you want to put fans on the bottom of the case here, which we just didn't have the fans for it. But overall, it was... It legitimately couldn't be easier building inside of it. I didn't have a single issue with the actual like physical building process of it. There's a ton of room for SSDs and uh, HDDs in there. We actually fully removed the bracket that went vertically up here. If you wanted to mount some 3.5 inch drives, you could even do that. I'm I'm honestly super happy with this case. Like I don't know I don't know what. I, I can't think of anything that I want to critique it on. It looks absolutely beautiful. It matches perfectly with the other white Fantex products that we use, such as the AIO and the power supply. It matches really well with the just the overall aesthetic of the build. It's super heavy, super durable. We got the, the dust covers everywhere um, if, if you're into cleaning your builds and all that. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just super happy with this case, guys. I, I don't have anything negative to say about it. <laughs> Danny is going to roast you again for those cables. It is what it is, man. We all have our styles. Damn, man, that PC looks sexy. Thank you. That's a rat's nest. That's what you do with dual chamber cases. Like, why, why, why would I waste time? It, it literally would not make sense at all. There's zero advantage. Not a single advantage. <laughs> as long as it looks clean. I don't love them. Yeah. I don't, I'm a little confused on the gap of the AIO tube, the AIO tube brackets, but I'm not sure what that's all about. Super sexy. The PC is nice too. What do you think of the halo ring now that you've seen them? I've used them before. I just used this on the MSI build as well. Um, or the, the other Fantex build I did when I reviewed the Fantex G 360 a, uh, yeah, the, the Halo rings look awesome, man. It, it completely makes a non-RGB fan RGB. Like, you would never know. They legitimately look like actual RGB fans up there. I think that looks really cool. Um, the rear look of the actual RGB fans on the side, the, the rear panel, they, those look awesome as well. Um, yeah, man. I, I just I literally don't have anything negative to say about this entire setup. This is just, this is as clean as it gets. I wish that I could uh, hold around a, a case that was proper, or a, a build that was properly RGB configured for you guys with the RAM and the motherboard RGBs and whatnot. Uh, but we're just, we're not going to install Windows uh, or get to the BIOS to do all of that today. Um, yeah, that's just, it's perfect. It's awesome. <laughs> the tubes could look better. Yeah. I, I, I think we're going to install these. Two brackets, let them sit there. Maybe we'll even ship the build with them uh, and then just let them decide, the buyer decide if they want to keep them on there. But what chair do you have? This is the DX Racer Air. Need you draw with the background PC's markers on the Infinity Mirror? No, I don't think we're going to play with that. Um, I'm going to wrap up the live stream, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely exhausted. We've been going for three hours and 55 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Almost a four-hour live stream. It felt long. It definitely – that's what she said. Well, not to me, but <laughs> that, that, is, that was definitely a very lengthy uh, live stream. Uh, I'm absolutely wiped from that. Are you guys tired? Who – who actually answered the question at the beginning of the live stream asking if they would stay for the entire... Oh, yeah, we have a giveaway to do. Let's do that. I forgot. <laughs> One more crown shot? No chance. Is there a black version? Yep. Yeah, there is. 
We have one giveaway to do. If you guys are still here during this four-hour live stream, now is your chance to win. We are going to do a a giveaway because we hit uh, 20, 20 subs tonight. So we'll do a $20 Steam gift card giveaway. Whoever wins, all you have to do is – met that we're actually not trolling. Just message Mark, Mark Spark, uh, the moderator, both on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, he has the Steam gift card code, so he'll give it to you right away. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening with Google Chrome, though. What the f <laughs> What in the world? Every time I left click on something, it downloads a file. That does not sound legit at all. What the f Oh, the keyboard is... The keyboard was being pressed by something. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Let's get my music back on. How do we enter? Uh, you, you'll just type in whatever I say here. I'm just setting it up now. We'll do a giveaway. Uh, complete that one. Custom. $20 Steam gift card giveaway. We'll do three minutes. And how many bonus tickets for subscribers? Five? Does that sound fair? Five? I think we'll do five. Mark says he already has the Steam gift card code copied and ready to paste. Yeah, we'll do five. We'll do a three-minute giveaway. This will work on both YouTube and Twitch. Uh, start giveaway. There we go. So all you got to do is type in exclamation point raffle, and you'll be entered. If you are a Twitch sub or a YouTube member, that will give you five extra bonus tickets for a total of six. And if you guys didn't already know, you can enter both on YouTube and Twitch uh, if you want to double up on those entries. If you're a YouTube member and a Twitch sub, that's 12 total tickets for this giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. So hop on in. Yep, I'm seeing everybody is entering both on Twitch and YouTube. It's fully working. You have two and a half minutes left. Justin with 100 bitties says, cleanest PC, bro. Thank you, man. It's not, it's not the cleanest I've done. It's pretty clean, though. I hate looking at builds like this without the RGBs configured. It like I wish there was something that I could do. The the only solution is to make every live stream like an hour longer. By the time you get Windows installed, install the correct RGB software. Deal with all the BS that comes with RGB software. It wouldn't be that difficult with this one. Um oh no, it would actually. Because, like, the, this RAM stick, these Trident Royals, they have their own RGB software. The motherboard has its own RGB software. And then if we wanted to control the Fantex stuff with the motherboard, that'd be another one. Like, it's – I don't like dealing with that, especially while live. Especially, like, after building a PC for four hours. Like, all I want to do is go to bed. It's 1 a.m. You know, like, I just – I don't think we'll ever get to the point where I build a PC and then configure the RGBs. So, I feel bad for you guys that – um you don't get to see the final completed product of the of these builds whenever I do the high-end builds that have the, the weird RGB setups. But uh, it is what it is. We can just imagine that all the RGBs are matched up properly. I ordered a PC from iBuyPower and it wouldn't power on. Wish I had built my own. New one comes tomorrow. Jeez, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, man. The $20 Steam gift card giveaway is live. We have 30 seconds left. Works on both Twitch and YouTube. Just type in exclamation point raffle. Uh, Clutch Master with the $20 Super Chat. Oh, my goodness. Clutch is going absolutely clutch, if you will, on today's live stream. Uh, just next raffle. <laughs> oh, for the next one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do we, have, do we actually have to do another one? <laughs> I don't know if I can wait three more minutes. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope I can win. Yeah, best of luck. All right. Uh, one second left. We are done. The winner, winner, I should say, 
I'm going to say wiener. Uh, of the $20, remember, all you got to do is message Mark Spark. Just message him di directly on whatever platform or wherever you're at, uh, and he will give you the code right away. But the winner of the $20 Steam gift card is none other than Billy Bob Joe. Okay. He's a frequent here at Thirsty Thursday. I think he's been a little quiet on today's live stream, but he's been around for quite some time. Billy Bob Joe, congrats over on Twitch for winning the $20 Steam gift card giveaway. He says, let's go, GG. That's what's up. Zach numero, numero uno. He has my name. Yeah, GG, ma'am. That's what's up. $20 Steam gift card giveaway. You have to let us know, though what you're going to do with the card for sure clutch do you actually want me to re-roll another one were you being serious i'll wait for a response if if that 20 dollars was actually to go for another giveaway then i'll do another one real quickly i don't know if i can just pick another winner let's see if he says anything i don't want to wait for other people to enter again <laughs> I would have bought Gary's mod. Mark says the 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 gift card is already sent. That's what's up, man. We have a very tight operation here. Clutch, was your twenty dollar super chat for another uh roll? Were you being serious? You want me to roll another one? Apit says I'm actually building a PC right now. I got a GTX ten eighty. Uh, for 190 That's a really good price. It's really good. Nice job. Today or next time? All right, we'll do another one real quickly. Uh, I don't know. I might be able to just hit pick winner, and we pick another one. Billy Bob Joe already got his gift card, so even if that – I think we can just do another one. All right, here we go. We'll do one more. Everyone that entered, you were all already entered. For the Clutch Master sponsored $20 Steam code, this is all him. The next winner is – Kazua over on YouTube this time. Now, we ran out of $20 Steam gift cards, so I'll have to send that one to you myself. Uh, but message me or Mark, and then we'll get you hooked up with the code as soon as I buy another one. Uh, Kazua on YouTube, congrats for your $20 Steam gift card giveaway. Both somebody on Twitch got one and somebody on YouTube got one. Splitting it up, that one was courtesy of Clutch Master. Congrats, uh, to both of you for getting that. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up tonight's live stream. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Clutch, thank you very much for sponsoring a giveaway on tonight's live stream. That is much appreciated. Um, thank you guys very much for the financial support on the live stream. You guys went absolutely all out on the return to Thirsty Thursday. I'll keep you guys updated on the non Thirsty Thursday live streams that I was talking about earlier. I definitely want to, um, uh, I definitely want to do some react videos and um, review some other people's YouTube videos that come out. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, uh, and then, yeah, we'll be back for Thursday, Thursday, building another PC. Stay tuned for the YouTube channel. We've got a lot of budget builds coming up in the near future. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this, our one-year-old's first birthday party. Got a ton of people coming into town like I was talking about over the weekend. Um, and then we'll be right back in the swing of things next week. So hopefully you guys all have a great weekend as well. Thank you again for tuning in to this four-hour Thirsty Thursday live stream. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good night.